Can't believe Manuva has an O in it. Who decided that? What? Can't believe Manuva has an O in it. Who decided that? <laughs> Manuva. I'm, st I'm still reeling over this. <laughs> I've dead ass never seen that. I stopped trying to learn language a long time ago. Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. And uh, this is this is, I'd say, a special one, right? Because it's it's yeah. the last episode you're going to see in this studio. Um, oh, Chris, I think that as well. Oh. Anyway, anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely I'm, didn't script that bit. <laughs> I'm your host for today, Gant, and with me are Joey and Connor. That's and awesome. uh, yeah, boys, how are you doing? Uh, you sad right. to be moving out? A little, yeah. a little sad. Yeah. It's just a very busy time right now. It it's is. Because okay, we've got so much to do with the new studio. It's like, all right, we've got to record one before we start tearing the studio down. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And we're probably going to film like a short little vlog for After Dark as well, which will hopefully be out. It'll probably be, yeah, out. probably out before this. Yeah, I think. so go check out After Dark. Yeah, because uh, I mean, we are literally moving out tomorrow after we film this today. So by the time we, by the time this comes out, you'll probably this will probably be like four, three, four weeks. It still after. hasn't sunken in that we're moving out tomorrow. I, I hasn't sunk in for me yeah. yet either. I'm just dreading having to redo everything and <laughs> set everything up. And, and cause yeah, because you know we have we have a setup that works here, and everyone's yeah. like, "Why are you moving? Why are you moving?" You know, but you got to mix it up. You know, you yeah. got to keep it fresh. Yeah. Also, you'll see why we want to move if you watch the After Dark vlog because we have no fucking space oh, yeah, in here. True. I am glad that I don't have to like, I am I dread whenever I'm the host because people don't know the fucking obstacle course you have to go yeah. around to get to this host shit. I feel literally bad for every guest that comes to yeah, the show. We do have- Who has uh, to like perform parkour to get to this scene. Yeah. We have a, a lot of tripping hazards and uh, yeah, Lady Beard nearly uh, tested the limits of our set yeah. in multiple ways. Not just the shelf behind you, yeah. but yeah. all the wires and stuff. That man yeah. was too large and in charge for those wires. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine how the guest feels having to sit here and having like, what if you need to go to the toilet, right? Cause I like, cause the reason, okay. The reason I hate going on flights and sitting on the window seat is I hate not being able to access the toilet under my own will. Oh, I do. I, I know now my limits of my own bladder. So <laughs> now whenever I'm on a long flight, I'm like, I'll seat. Give me yeah. an aisle seat immediately. I don't have to look at the view. I've seen, yeah. I know what the outside I, of a plane looks I, like. I know, no, no, I know no, no. what sky looks like. Yeah. I don't need to look at sky. <laughs> I, I, I know what a city looks like from above. <laughs> I will I'm sacrifice. Like, like, all right, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be our first topic for fun. <laughs> Listen, okay, I, I am a firm window seat fan. Why? why? Let me tell you why. Because, right? Mm. What's the biggest downside of being in the aisle, gentlemen? What is it? Come on, there's got to be a downside. Anyway. There is no there, fuck that you don't that you this don't see the one, view. There is one glaring, gigantic, annoying issue, and what? that is motherfucking people in the window and middle seat wanting to get out, and and right. God forbid they're fucking clumsy as shit, and they're like oh. oh. Oh, like fucking falling over everything. And then they've got like 10 shit that they got on their lap. They got like the whole right. fucking family buffet and shit. They got like 10 <laughs> headphones, portable charger. It's like, for fuck's sake, put it in your fucking bag. They're just trying to shimmy around. Like get that shit away from me. I want to go in the window because I want to sleep and I don't want to be disturbed. I- But you're okay with disturbing. <laughs> Disturb, yeah. Cause that, <laughs> <laughs> yes. that just shows like the difference in mentality. Cause I would rather, I'm, I'm fine with being disturbed. I'm just like, go to, go to the toilet, man. I know you need it. His voice, his voice with that, I'm fine with being disturbed. <laughs> Listen, it's, I don't, okay. I don't know if everyone else sees it the same way as I do. Cause I know that I get annoyed by minor things. My house could burn down and I'd be like, well, that's fucking, that's really inconvenient that, isn't it? But yeah. someone moves in the aisle seat for fuck's sake. No, because for me, there's like, there's like a counter, like, because I, I, I know how much I piss. I mean, I'm glad that I don't need to worry when I, how much I piss on trash taste. Because I piss a lot on trash taste, yeah, right? yeah. But in the confines of an airplane, you are stuck there mm. and you ask to go to the toilet once. All right, that's reasonable, right? Every, yeah. Everyone has, everyone mm. knows you need, everyone mm. needs to go to the yeah, toilet, yeah. but twice. Okay, that's, that's, that's kind of pushing it, you know? I, what if I need to go three times when everyone's sleeping? What if, what if that just happens? Oh, so you're more, more worried about pissing them off? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, more yeah, worried yeah, about yeah, pissing yeah, them off. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Picture it, you're on the, you're on the aisle. Right? Oh, yeah. What is the limit before you start to get annoyed with how many times people get up to go and pee? Uh, we're, on, we're on a 12 me, hour flight. For me, it doesn't matter because me, no matter what, I'm going to be pissing more yeah, than yeah. these two people combined. For me, well, for me, for me, for me, I, I never get pissed off because I'm like, I get it, man. See, that's my, I, I, I know the pain you're <laughs> in. That's my I know the trouble you're in. I got you, brother. Yeah. That, that's my mentality, right? The aisle people, the aisle chumps are used to being annoyed. That's my theory, right? right. So I don't really feel bad about disturbing. I'm fucking the aisle. zen on the aisle. You know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, middle I, seat, the middle seat, you just lose. So, yeah. I mean, they already knew, no, they, they, already the, knew they lost. The middle seat is 
just the loser's seat. No yeah. one ever wants to sit in the middle seat yeah. unless I think that you're a fucking psychopath if you actually choose to seat, sit in the middle seat. Well, th this is like, okay, well, I mean, you know, in your, the only time I don't give a shit about middle seat is if we're on like an hour or two flight. I'm like, it's yeah. a- Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Literally, I watch one yeah. Jason Statham yeah. movie and I'm there, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, but I mean, I do care on a 12 hour flight, but you've already lost at that point and you should have pre-booked. That's your fault. You yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. But do you ever do that gamble where you're like, I want the whole road to myself. This plane looks just empty enough where I think I can pull this off. Where you're like, I'm gonna book just the middle seat in a clean row of three. No, I never no, do that. I do that's that. the that's the I like to live life on the edge. Cause then I know that what what sick fuck is gonna wanna sit next to a a, a madman that would willingly choose the aisle seat in a row of three. That should send danger. That should like be like a danger sign. No, anyone. because what I do is that I I get the safe seat of just an aisle seat because mm. I know that no matter what, even if that aisle is full, I get the extra leg room. Mm. I get immediate access to the toilet. I don't disturb anybody. Mm -hmm. So yeah. win win. Mm -hmm. Like like. But then the moment I get on the plane, and I see oh, it's not not a lot of people waiting in this in this waiting room right now. Right. Then then that's when I go like. So uh how many how many aisles are open today? How many aisles? Can I can I sneak into one of those? And like I just ask. And well, a lot I, of the times they're just like, yeah, there's yeah, not many that's people when it's That's in. when it's empty. And also yeah. I don't ask, I just go. Oh, okay. The moment the plane like the seatbelt things come on, I'm yeah. like, that's a free aisle, that's mine. I, I could see other people on the plane. I see their eyes looking yeah. at the free seats. I'm like, no, nah, it's mine. I'm getting it right. <laughs> <Out of the laughs> way. Yeah. I'm like, get down. <laughs> well, that's the other benefit of being in the aisle, right? You immediately just go, yeah. go now. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's rare that I be in, I'm on a plane where it's like the, where there's an aisle there. You're like, I, I'm pretty sure the gamble you're making it is like happens. it's like fucking gacha odds. You well, know, no, I, I'm, I, I am talking about when the plane is like <laughs> basically like seventy to eighty percent full. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Because I, again, like I said, no one. If you if you're on the booking page of the plane, you get to see the layout as you mm. do. You're not going to sit next to the guy who picked willingly in the middle because that, that's a bad sign. Yeah, I wouldn't do no. that. Yeah. If I saw someone in the middle, I'm like, he's a psychopath. That's a psychopath. He yeah. wants to socialize on a yeah. plane. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, not, like, no, I'm no. not falling for this. I'm, not. <laughs> like, I'm not here to fucking socialize. I don't want to join a cult today. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure there'll be some cults some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I don't mind going on the, okay, so, okay, okay I'll do that gamble. If it, if it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. I, I might just, <laughs> I might go to the, like, whoever's next to me, like, you want to swap? You want to swap? Do you actually? Yeah, sometimes. I'm like, listen, I'm going to sleep. Do you want to swap? And then they're like, yeah. Wait, how easily do you sleep on planes? Cause I, I, I remember when with I was great like- difficulty. With great difficulty. So like for me, sleeping on the window seat is actually less comfortable than sleeping on the aisle seat as well. Because oh, because for some reason, like you, but like my, you, you know, your nature is, you know, you can lean on the, on the yeah, wall can. part, right? Yeah. But the wall, of the plane is, I don't know why, it's just tilted at such an angle where you can never get a comfortable leaning on that wall. It's like, I don't know. This is why you bring I don't know what engineer designed it to make planes, especially on the window seat, mm. the most uncomfortable angle right. to lean your head by. Yeah, you that is that. true. That I'm is gonna, true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna and and it's, it is so weird because I have no trouble sleeping on cars. Yeah. Cars, trains, or any other kind of moving vehicle, I sleep like a fucking baby. Put me on a plane and I'm like insomnia, like insomnia. Speed run. It's just, I <laughs> well, well I, I normally wear a hoodie and a jacket, no matter what the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use them as padding. Yeah, because it also gets no, fucking because, cold. Because well. I, I like, I need to be, I need my head to be at least like a forty-five degree angle, right? <laughs> that's called privilege. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, like, like. Wait, so how does the how does sleeping like, in the aisle make this solution better? Because I can't, I can't tilt my neck enough that it's like it's almost like horizontal. Here's how I, vertical, I, I, I kind of go like. The wall is here and right. like the seat is here. I kind of nestle into this corner. Right? Yeah, because- it's kind of like, go in yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Like, cause, 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 like, cause like for me, like I said, my head needs to be like at least a 45 degree angle. So, you know, not, not, you know, not my entire body, but at least my head, you know? So it feels at least like I'm lying down. Even though I'm, I wake up, I get fucking neck cramps or whatever. Bro, like I just, just go business. Bro, I mean, <laughs> like at that point, just no, go business. I, I, man, honestly, like. I have no problem just sleeping. Like I just put my head down and just sleep on my arms on my lap. Oh, really? I can't do that. I could do that. I've, I've, I've attempted to do that as well. And- I'm too, well, I'm too tall well, to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that sounds like a short person <laughs> solution to me. This is what happens <laughs> when you're lower than six foot, John. You, get, you can just, the world opens up to you. It's like a fucking origami puzzle. <laughs> the 5'11 club over here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well, every time I go in a plane, I'm just like, damn, man. I wish I, wish I was a bit shorter. I wish I was off. the 5'11 club. Yeah. God, how does it feel to be short? Oh my God. <laughs> 
Well, that's the other okay. benefits of being in the ILC, right? Is that you can stick your legs out and actually no, stretch them no, out. No, you can't. Yeah, you, you can. You do for 10 minutes and the woman comes over. She's like, hey, put your fucking legs in. Or the cart comes by and you, like, your legs just fucking no, cut No, I'm off. like fucking no. like right up against the seat though. So yeah. like, it just mm, slides past. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't it's know. It's like a Jackie Chan film. I'm just like, but I also, just past. I don't know if I can do this now because it's been Fuck, like two years since I've been on a long flight. Yeah, Isn't that scary it's been a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been like two years. But I used to, I used to stay up all night working, and then my flight would be at like what, like maybe midday if I was lucky. Yeah, maybe eight a.m. if I was even luckier. Yeah, so I'd stay up all night working, and then right before I got on the plane, I would just take like one, one of those like over the counter, really cheap week sleeping pills. That yeah, you the, can get. the the UK ones. Yeah, they're super. Sl- they're they're not like, like America. Like Ameri- melatonin. No, 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 no. Mel- melatonin is the good shit. Yeah, this that's like, illegal in the UK. It's basically, or you need a prescription to get melatonin. Oh, really? Yeah, I wow. think the one that you get from the store is like similar to hay fever medicine. I think. Ah, uh, like the yeah, drowsy I, medicine. I swear to God, that's just sugar pills. It's, I swear <laughs> to God, it, it doesn't actually do much, but it's enough to like kind of get your head going, and you're like, all right, okay. Yeah, right, right. I'm already sleep deprived. I stayed up all night working. Mm, yeah, and now I'm gonna go to bed. Cause like when I would, when, uh, what was it? Two and a half years ago, maybe the, la- the last con season I actually did before pandemic, I went back and forth from America like four times in one month mm. to the UK. Yeah. Mm. And the only way I could do it was by sleeping. I just like, I if if I need to sleep on a plane and I don't have like melatonin or like sleeping pills or whatever. I've never taken melatonin. Yeah, I just go like, just give me like two gin and tonics. Just, fuck, just down Dude, that I shit. Know, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, the alcohol doesn't work on me to, to make me sleep. I don't know. Really? Like it, to no. me, I never drink alcohol on planes because alcohol just makes the f- fluids run through my body faster. So I just got to pee more. So that that just that <laughs> just adds an extra layer of stress for me. Cause I'm just right, like, right. I, I got to pee more now I'm on this plane. I cannot pee. I, I can hold the pee. <laughs> I cannot pee. <laughs> I can <laughs> pee. That's an out of context. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can hold the pee for like the whole 12 hours. I, you're a madman. Like I, well, can't. I, I unload before I get on the plane. <laughs> I, I unload. I fully uh, unleash it, and I drink minimal water on the plane. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Min- yeah, I'm pretty sure I unload as much as I possibly can. I go to pee like five times before I get on the plane, and, and like I sit down immediately as well, I know. You're probably peeing five times before you get on the plane. Your bladder already sounds like it's failed you before you even got to the gate. I'm only peeing like once. Yeah, I don't know before. what it is though. It's like it's like a Pavlovian effect where like the moment you hear the ding of like the seatbelt sign, it's yeah. like, oh fuck, I have to pee. Well, Every time. I, I mean, that's what I can hold it and I can sleep. So I'm like, I tell the people next to me, like if, if they seem nice, mm-hmm. if, if they don't seem nice, I won't, I won't say anything. Cause yeah. like, you can just tell people. <laughs> right. tell, the tell them what? Well, I'll just be like, don't, if the food comes, don't wake me up. I don't care about yeah. the food. Don't, don't wake me up for anything. I thought you were gonna say, don't worry. Uh, don't worry if you have to pee. Cause uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, man. <laughs> well, cause sometimes <laughs> if you're in like, if you're in a sleep and they ask you, do you want food? And they think that you're like, actually like conked out, like completely. Yeah. yeah. They might think like, oh my God, he's like, He's fainted or something, or like, you know. No, I've down. I've just if, if, if I'm if on a plane, you don't wake up, if you don't wake up, yeah. If I'm on a plane yeah. and I'm asleep while the food goes past, like I've never been woken up for food. Oh my god, yeah. I've had people wake me up so many times, really? dude. That is, I hate that. Actually. And I'm like, do you know how hard I worked for this? <laughs> exactly, for this five right, right. minutes. I waited two hours to get to sleep for five fucking minutes yeah. so you could yeah. wake me up. This is why I do, also don't want to sit in the fucking in the aisle because the moment I fall asleep, yeah. some person could be like, uh, excuse me. Can I go to the toilet? <laughs> you literally waited. You waited until I fell fall asleep. Right, right, right. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hate you. You are a scum of the earth. I will watch. The moment I see them about to fall asleep, I'm like, right, I'm going to pee. If I'm in the thing, because mm. I'm like, I want to give you some yeah. time. And uh, like, there's only one thing that annoys me more about getting woken up just, just to eat, you know, on a plane, which mm. I wasn't even hungry in the first place. And that is babies on a plane. I don't know, man. Crying babies on a plane just triggers something in me, man. I think it should be legally you allowed. Canceling headphones? I don't. They're a lifesaver. Literally, the the what are they called? Dude, dude I, I I feel like I, I feel like a baby's cry pierces any kind no, of no, anything. No, 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 dude, those Sony <laughs> WX four thousand, whatever the fuck they are, the stupidest name they ever picked for them. Those amazing noise canceling headphones. You won't hear a fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, because I've I I don't know. I don't re- I don't usually use noise canceling headphones. That might be my problem. Because right now I'm just like, I think it should be legally I'm- allowed to punch babies if they cry on a plane. Like that's, can we, can we all just that's agree just on that? Shut up. <laughs> I feel like they might cry more. I, I, don't, I, don't know how the parents, I don't know how the parents would feel about this. You're gonna like hit ma- them just right. Turns into like Mad Max when the baby starts crying. The parents are like fucking. But like, I mean. Right, man, problem solved. Yeah. I never thought, I never thought I needed. <laughs> like Austin Powers, Judo Chomp. Yeah. Judo Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> My God, <laughs> I never thought I needed noise canceling headphones until I had them. And then I can't, I literally go everywhere with them. 
Like you, you see me, I'm always with you. Where, yeah, I do not go anywhere without my noise cancelling headphones. Now. I would only use noise cancelling headphones for the airplane. Though. That's what there's, you think. That's what you think. Okay, then, what, what in what other like situation? It's so nice on the train or any form of mm. transport, walking around, just getting to isolated and hearing your music yeah. and just the music. And if you want, you can hear some background noise. It doesn't really matter. Dude, you, it's you like living through an option. AMV. It's fucking Dude, it's, awesome. <laughs> it's great. I want to hear Phil Franco when I'm walking downtown, going, "What's our beautiful bastards in my ear?" Right and, in my. It's like an yeah, ASMR. right in my ear. All I want to hear is fail in my ear. I don't know. I feel like I zone out enough as it is. I don't need noise canceling headphones. To make me, I, I literally just walk in front of a truck or something. I've had noise canceling nah, headphones. You, you, kinda, you learn to adapt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you learn to adapt. You, you become more wary. Like. Yeah. I, I look around a lot more now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a good thing. Uh, I, I, You're kind I, of like Daredevil, right? Yeah. Like you, 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 you take out one sense, so you got to <laughs> compensate for it with your other sense or something. Just buy them. You'll see. You'll see. You'll yeah, they're you. great. Because I always thought like expensive headphones, I'm like, I don't need more than 20 bucks. Or 50 bucks headphones, what a scam. And then I yeah. bought them and I'm like, I'm such a fool. I was so wrong the whole time. The beeps and boops sound even better now. Oh, they are amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I- It I changes did, everything. I did used to have like really, really good headphones, but they were just a real hassle. Beats by Dre. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like a real hassle to uh, just lug around. Well, that's I mean, why that's, I stopped using them. That's why mine, mine are like, you, they fold in themselves. Pretty easy to put in a coat pocket or something. Uh, uh, I just use the AirPods. Yeah, that's why That's why I'm, I am like, I like using like, you know, Earbuds, Buds, whenever yeah. it's daily life. If it's Broke. on a plane, yeah, I'll, I'll bring the headphones. Yeah, no, I wear I wear the headphones everywhere. See, like this, especially this time, like I don't mind the headphones either, but like this time of year when it gets hot as shit, yeah, I hate well, having I, headphones around. My I head. need something to distract me from the heat. So just blast the so what, audio. Add more heat. Take take <laughs> one the of, take one add of the more insulation. Yeah. Take one of the senses away from me so I can just go to another world. So I don't have to <laughs> fucking pay attention to Japan anymore. No, I hate that because I start sweating here, like on my ears, and then when I take oh. it off, it's like Well, yeah. you have a lot of hair though, so that might be yeah. why, because I don't really have like that much hair around here, so what? I mean, that's pretty it. <laughs> nice you're self like, burn. You're like bro. muffling all the hair in there. You're yeah. like fucking making it. I have to like fucking like raise it up like this <laughs> to like hear anything. Yeah, well, come on, be fine then. Yeah, well, you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're you good. two are fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll be good. I'll be, be good. <laughs> Soon enough, I'll have no hair, and then I'll be no problem. <laughs> then you'll just have like a sunburn mark on oh the head. God. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to getting sunburn on your head, Connor? No. I'm just going to become a hat guy. <laughs> Beanie guy. You're, I mean, you already, you already are starting to become a hat guy. I Every thought, time I see you in the summer. Well, yeah, because I realized that like, it fucking hurts to not wear a hat. It or, hurts? Yeah, the, the sun hurts so much. I think that's what the, the biggest thing that changed to me. I, 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 was, I was walking today mm. uh, to the train and I was like, when did I just like hate seeing the sun? Like, when did that happen? Because I, I remember I didn't mind being outside. Right. But now yeah. I hate the thought of having the sun on my skin at all. Like beaming. Sounds like the most British thing I've ever heard, honestly. <laughs> I didn't used to be this way. I don't know what happened. I just I, now hate I can't the sun. Wait, can you literally can you tan? Uh no, I just burn. Right. But now I actually like if I stay in the sun too long, I feel like nauseous real fast. Really? Like, without like a hat or anything, yeah. I don't I know if that's, like, that's like a is, different is, like, is it just because it's too hot? I think maybe here, yeah. 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 I think because this is just way hotter than I'm used it's to. Also, yeah. It's also because the humidity, right? Yeah, the humidity yeah, yeah. is yeah, like, yeah, I feel I feel like you're just it's more it's it's not the sun, it's just the heat. Cause it's in, both. It's both. In like England, you, you the sun fucking tickles you. You know, it's, well, it's, yeah, it does, it's, it's you don't feel anything. But it's know? like it's like I feel like they play off each other. So the the sun makes the humidity worse, and the humidity makes the sun worse. Yeah, absolutely. Because mm -hmm. when the sun's beaming on you in like LA or whatever, yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, I don't want to stand. Really, outside. it hurts. I, it, I don't it hurts, know, man. But I it, don't know. I'm not saying it's it's great, but I mean it's better than it is in Japan, just because the humidity makes it feel ten times worse. I mean, I don't know <sighs> if there's some like ray. Bullshit, like mimic, like you know, going in the water droplets in the air, just fucking the, the frogs are making the water turn gay. I don't, know, like, I don't know if there's some shit going on there. I don't know. Some conspiracy theory yeah, shit. I don't, I don't know if what there's probably some someone smarter than me has figured it out. It's but. honestly, I think it's just like a preference thing, right? Like some people are like, yeah, humidity is whatever, and then there are others who are like, oh, yeah, my skin is well, like physically I, burning. Like, I, 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 I like a little bit of humidity. Japanese humidity is like way too much. Yeah. Well, last, last summer I could like only survive by going around. Uh, with like a fucking UV umbrella. Felt like an old yeah, woman. Yeah, that's all right. I yeah. felt like an old woman. I would just go around with like this foldable umbrella that I would just go around. With, I'd be like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Cause I, I can't. The first time I saw you with that, I thought 
I was like, are you, are you waiting for me to like say a joke or <laughs> like you take a piss or? I realized it's not <laughs> enough to just protect my head. Is this, is this a bit? <laughs> it, was, I, 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 it started like even the hat didn't really help that much. And I needed to cover like my neck and like my arms and shoulders. So you, I, you need to get those like like visors. Yeah, I'm one step away from being the old woman at the supermarket <laughs> because they wear like sleeves, like yeah, shade sleeves. sleeves and like a full like neck thing yeah. from the sun. Yeah. Sh shout out to those of us who've never been sunburned in our lives. Is this, is this, some, is this some white I, man problem that I just don't get? I think so. I think I'm, I think I'm aging rapidly. Imagine, imagine, sunburning. Like, <laughs> imagine yeah. sunburning. Imagine sunburning. Oh God. God. Imagine being hurt by this natural occurring <laughs> thing that's existed since the beginning of our planet. I feel like my body didn't age and then it decided that everyone, everything would just kick into overdrive and start <laughs> aging rapidly. <laughs> from age like 23. I don't know what happened. Moving to Japan just made me feel old. I don't know why. So now, 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 now I like- Literally the youngest man but in the yeah. it, my, my UV umbrella, umbrella broke, it was shit. It, it snapped. It, it broke? It broke, I don't know how it broke. What, did the sun snap it? I don't know. It the, broke. The, the rays were too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to, you know. What broke about, how did it break? How the fuck did it break? The, when I, you know when you pull it out, cause it was one of the foldable ones. So it goes oh, in, so okay, I could fit right. it in like a small bag. Right. Yeah. Um, it just like, when I pulled it out one time, it just fucking came off. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I, put too much I, 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 I guess no sun protection for the day then. No, so now I need to buy a new one. I, I've been looking on Amazon, but this one hasn't caught my fancy yet. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm very picky. But is, this, is this a fashion statement or something as well? Like, no, what? I just I just wanted one that wouldn't break, you know, cause I, I've been burnt once, twice now from the sun and from the umbrella breaking. Then just breaking. buy a more sturdy one, surely. Oh, thanks God. It's an umbrella. Think, it's a, it's a fucking, fucking doing that. It's a fucking umbrella. How wrong can you, how wrong can an umbrella be? Yeah. Does it protect you? Does it give you shade? That's all it needs to do, surely. Well, I mean, you know, cause- and Why the fuck are you worried about like the design? Well, cause I already look like a clown using it. I want to at least not make it too bad and get like a, if I get a pink one, it's like, it looks pretty bad. So I want to try and get like a somewhat stuff. Nothing wrong one. with pink, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I could rock it. I just yeah. don't want to have to justify why I'm rocking it to people. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Just people ask why, why, are you, why are you like trying to prove a point? I, mean, like, I could own it. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I have no qualms about having a pink umbrella. If that's what you're wondering. That's the most like roundabout way of saying yes, but also <laughs> yeah. not. Fine, I'll get a pink umbrella. Fine, I'll yeah, buy, get it. Yeah, I'll get buy it. a pink get umbrella. It. Do it for the bit. Fine, yeah. fine. fine. Yeah. No right. one's gonna see it. It's literally just oh, my- no, we'll, put it, we'll put it on the Twitter, don't worry. It's for the bit, my we'll, daily life. It's we'll my, on, my, we'll put my on daily Twitter. life is a joke. We'll put it on the Twitter, don't worry. Subreddit will go hand on talk about something serious. Shut the, shut the fuck up, Joe. Right, let, let's, let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> Boksu even partners with Japanese artisan makers to make sure you're getting authentic flavors and Boksu snacks are different every month and have different themes. Hey, Connor, open up the box to show us what's inside. Oh, I certainly will, Jerry. <gasps> As you can see here, this month's theme is summer fruit, Manatsu no Kaijutsu. <gasps> Everything in this box is fresh and fruity. We got lemon flavored Otona no Otsumami, Pudun Cognac Jelly, Okinawa Shikuasa Fried Rice Crackers and Peanuts, and and many, many more. The snacks come with an organic hojicha tea pairing as well. So if you want to get your hands on the snacks that hit different, use our code TRASHTASTE20 to get 20% off your own box you today. This offer is only valid for June. And repeat customers will get a themed box every month. Right. Hitoachi, chigata okashi wo kyo kara. Kyo kara. How's that joke? Nihongo Jozu, back to the episode. Fuck you, Joe. Script reading, big brain. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so I don't know. Well, in other news, uh, we, there's something that happened. News, there, there is something less lighthearted and yeah. more yeah. serious that has happened recently. I was trying to find of like a little like downtime before we get on to that. <laughs> no. time, but I guess we're going straight into it. Let's just go straight into depression. Right. So how can we say this boys? One I mean, of uh, one of the greatest manga one artists. One of my fucking heroes just died. One of the, one of the greatest <sighs> manga artists of all time just passed away yeah. recently. And I mean, it this is just, old news by the time this comes yeah, out. Yeah, by the time this comes out, this would be like a month old news now. Mm. Um, but yeah, Kentaro Miura, author of Berserk has passed away and- uh, Age 54, right? Yeah, 54. age 54 of like, what, what, what did he die of? I forgot like, the scientific name of it, but it's like one of his like main arteries in his heart just like exploded. Fuck. Essentially. <sighs> so basically it's a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's a fucking horrible way to die. I'll tell you, honestly, after hearing about this news, I'm never gonna make fun of a hiatus ever again. Yeah, honestly. honestly. <laughs> no, like legit, like it's scary, man. Like, because 
Yeah, because you know, obviously, no one really knew as to why he was on hiatus, right? Yeah, now. no, no I mean, one knew. They they normally don't usually give reasons. They just mm -hmm. like he's on. He she is. People are extremely first. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. she is on hiatus. Just deal with it, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Um, but yeah, apparently, I guess, I don't know. Was he sick at all? Or was it just completely silent? I, I, like they don't, I don't, we don't really even I don't know. know. Do I don't, because at the time of recording, I haven't read enough about what happened to mm. know if it was like a reoccurring health problem or right. if it was just a sudden thing. But man, I like, we all know how much pressure manga artists get put through anyway. Mm. Um, and how much work they have to do on a weekly basis. Right. Um, I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that most of the big manga artists we know about mm. You know, you know, work in Shonen Jump or whatever. Get like two weeks off. No, less than two weeks off for a year, right? Well, it's like golden week and then like <laughs> one mean, extra week. I doubt right? they yeah. take it as well. I doubt, yeah, I doubt yeah. they take it And they don't really, I doubt they take it off as well. It's yeah. just one week that where they are forced to take yeah. a break, right? I, I mean, I, I wasn't too familiar with Berserk. I'd only watched the, uh, the 90s anime. Mm. I mean, that's familiar enough. I, I, which yeah. I really enjoyed. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. good. It's great. Um, but fuck, I mean, it's just kind of sad hearing a, like a legend of the industry who's kind of influenced a lot of things that we've done. Yeah. Cause I remember we were filming an another project when the news broke to us yeah. and it didn't hit me immediately because I was in like work mode. I was yeah. in filming mode. So I was like, okay, got to do this, this, this. And then I got home, listened to Guts' theme once and it just played oh. continuously for like yeah. the entire night. And I'm just, I was just sitting there just like fucking, like my soul, part of my soul had died. Yeah, I literally went home and I was like, I'm gonna reread Berserk. And then yeah. I, I, got, I feel like everyone did. Yeah, yeah. I started reading it. So yeah, I, I, was like, I, oh. I couldn't get past volume one without feeling like this fucking wave of like, oh fuck. Yeah, you know? cause like I, I, I always know that Berserk is one of the greatest manga that has ever been made. Mm -hmm. And then going back home and realizing just remembering everything that was in this story and in this manga, yeah. it just hit even fucking harder because yeah. I just had forgotten how good it was before I really took the time to remember what it had achieved mm. and some of its greatest moments. Um, if you hadn't read Berserk, there's always, a, there's always a perfect time to read Berserk because any time is the perfect time to read mm -hmm. Berserk. So please read fucking Berserk. It's amazing. I it's mean, the manga single-handedly inspired the Dark Souls series. I mean, it inspired a lot. It yeah. wasn't just Dark Souls. Yeah. A lot of things wouldn't exist right now if not for Berserk. Oh yeah. And I don't know what I don't know what it is about Berserk, but it's literally like, it's literally the one show, or not the, not even the one show, the one story or the one manga mm. that seems to be like no matter how tough this person is, no matter how like detached they are from the world or whatever, mm. Berserk seems to be that one story that seems to be able to affect anyone who reads it. Yeah, right. because like fundamentally, you know, it's like this whole like dark fantasy thing with these like mythical creatures and it's bloody gory and, mm -hmm. you know, epic. But like the main themes mostly are just like, you know, one person trying to figure out what the fuck they want to do in life. Yeah. And like, that's a theme that literally anyone can get behind, right? Yeah. Like I'm kind of in this world, shit's happening around me. I don't really know what my purpose yeah. is in life. Yeah. I forgot how brutal it was. It's brutal. I it's brutal. I, I, I've watched, again, I watched all the 90s anime. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, holy shit. The 90s OVS brutal as fuck. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Like, it's just like, fuck. Yeah. It just it just hurts to read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. It's so uncomfortable at times. Yeah, and I think it's incredible because it is really, really fucking brutal. There are some like, like his art, obviously we, we haven't talked about his art yet. It's like some of the best art to ever exist in the world of manga. Mm. Like some of the horrific imagery he was ma managed to conjure up and some of like the creature designs and everything were just something straight out of a nightmare, you know? Oh yeah. And it was a brutal show and it's an action packed show as well because Guts is like one of the biggest badasses in anime and manga. Mm. And yet se having said all that, the moments that people will remember are like the really intimate moments, which, is, which isn't which is what you think if you looked at Berserk on mm, a surface level, mm. right? You, you look at Berserk, you see these horrific creatures, you see guts with a massive sword tearing shit up and you're mm. like, yeah, this is a manly man show. And yeah. then you read it and you're just like fucking crying inside because you know, you see, you, you, you're trying to see guts like go get through his trauma and find yeah. his journey and everything like that. It's like, it's the real intimate moments that always stand out. And it's the real serene moments that always mm. stand out. And I think that's what, that's what really sets Berserk apart mm. from like so many other series where mm. it's the serene moments juxtaposed against all like the horrific moments yeah. that make it one of 
to me, like it's one of my the fav one of my favorite pieces of fiction that's ever been made. No, hundred percent. And it's, I got reminded yeah. of that after remembering everything that mm, mm. everything that Berserk did. It's, it's like if the fucking Doom guy had like a a wife and family, and he just went home sometime. <laughs> and you get reminded. You get reminded like, oh shit, this is a guy. Because when you when you when Doom guy's like, why am I killing these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, what, yeah, is yeah. Guys, like, what is my purpose? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really, I, 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 you know, I, I, because I, I don't know why someone compared it on Twitter. And I thought, oh, that would be, I guess so. But then yeah. I, I, I read Berserk. I'm like, no, no, no. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, but it is kind of like you do forget because sometimes it, like you're reading it, you're like, this is like so doom esque, where he's just ch literally just beheading horses. Really? And yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh, this is like doom, and then it's like really sad. You're like, this isn't like doom. This, <laughs> this like, is not. It's, like it's literally that meme where the girls are like, I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Mm -hmm. Do boys even have feelings? And then like, there's there's just the boys crying over <laughs> Gus's theme, which was literally what I was doing <laughs> yeah, that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Just Gus's theme was playing, and I was true, just like true, crying true. in bed, just like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, yeah, like every time I reread it, it's just because, you know, every time a new volume came out, because it was mm -hmm. so much time in between oh. like the later volumes, I was like, well, fuck, I, I guess I have to read it from scratch again. And so I would yeah. keep reading it from scratch over and over again. And it's just one of those shows where I'm just like, how does this not get like stale? Yeah. Because yeah. I probably re I probably read it like the first 30 volumes, probably like a good, like maybe 10, 20 times. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, how does this keep just getting better? Like, how do I keep finding mm. new things in this? I mean, you guys know me. I don't fucking rewatch anything. Mm. I yeah. refuse to rewatch. But mm. I even just rereading the first, uh, the what was, what was the first arc called? The Golden, Golden Age. Golden the Age. Golden Age. That just rereading that again. I'm like, holy shit, this was so good. Yeah. yeah. Like even though I've I've seen this, I, I've read it earlier. Like I tried to read it again ages mm. ago. For some reason now, I'm like, yeah. this, is, this is. Sometimes this is when I'm bored, I just like go to the Eclipse arc and just mm. look at the art. Yeah. yeah. This is I'm like, this fuck. Like, how can one person think of this? Yeah, I know. This is insane. And, and you know, the dude was like 15 as well when he like first came up with the concept of Berserk. Yeah, did like you that. see like, She's did you see the manga he made before Berserk when yeah. he was actually 15? He was like it's, 15 it's, or 16. I'm yeah, like- It's better than most mo modern manga I'm artists, like, you know. <laughs> I'm like, this is not the art skill of a 15 year old. Exactly, exactly. And like he paired that talent and he, he just kept improving on yeah. it to the point yeah. where literally, I, I don't know, there's only if like a few people in the world who yeah. I think can even match you know, the talent yeah. that he put into the panels that he yeah. did. I mean, I saw this like really interesting interview uh, with him like after, you know, his death was announced um, where like apparently one of the big reasons as to why he was on hiatus was because he got so infatuated with detail mm -hmm. that it would literally get to the point where he would zoom in and like actually edit every fucking pixel. Yeah. Oh my god. And, Honestly. And like and sounds he sounds like a and, prisoner to perfection. Yeah, and he, and he kept and he kept, you know, getting like on hiatus over and over yeah. again. And his, you know, editors would be like, You can't even see this detail on paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like just stop. And he, he was just like, no, I have to get this right. I have to get this perfect. Honestly, like some of the panels he's done belongs in a museum, you know. That, oh yeah. Cause like I I cause the the reason for that is because I just remember like that night when I went back, I was like went to look at some of the panels and mm. I just remember staring at them for such a long time mm. because you know when you, when you're reading a story sometimes you know it, you're, you're, you want you want to you want to see what happens next so mm. you don't read it you don't appreciate the art um, at the moment uh, when you first read it mm. but I went back to look at some of the panels and I just the amount of work and the amount of detail and the amount of vision that was put into these panels were fucking amazing and I did not appreciate it fully the first time, even though I could mm. like tell these were amazing. I mm. didn't take the time to fully appreciate how fucking amazing these, some of these panels are, cause yeah. they are incredible. Oh, 100%. And they, they, you know, they, they are just basically the same as any other painting or any other art. I work really want to know the if they have like a berserk art book of some kind, cause mm -hmm. I would fucking purchase that in a heartbeat, dude. I, 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 I can imagine that they'll probably end up doing something soon yeah. to yeah. Like celebrate the yeah. legacy, right? I, I hope they do like open up an exhibit or something. Yeah, that'd be yeah. because right. that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Cause if there's one, you know, one manga that deserves an exhibit, that deserves that artwork to be plastered on a wall. It's Mirror, it's, yeah. it's fucking berserk. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It was kind of sad to see that a lot of people were just like, well, what's gonna happen to the story? And it's like, how Those aren't fans of Berserk. Well, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's frustrating because when I saw the announcement on Twitter, there was so many people being like, does this mean it's not gonna finish? It's like- It's like, yes, no shit. That's To me, it's just so, it's like, how about you just give them a chance to like grieve before you ask yeah. these questions? Yeah. If anything, I mean? I'm kind the of- The answer's probably gonna be no. Right. <laughs> because there were a lot of people as well being like, oh, but you know, they can probably just get like Mira's assistance to finish no. it. And like, no, no, no. no. I would rather it just, 
be where it is. Yeah, just yeah. end it. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm fine with it being an unfinished masterpiece. Yeah. you know that's that's fine. That's fine for me. Yeah. It's bizarre. Was, was, was it realistically ever gonna finish? Do you think? I mean, there, there I mean, I don't think, there. I don't think, like, not, not a single one of like the, you know, the kings and yeah, the I, were like killed. I think only one of them was. killed. I think one of them was. Yeah. yeah. Was so that was a right long, <laughs> uh, there was a long, long way to go. Like, yeah, no we, we, we were so it. early in the story and the the pace that the story was progressing, I doubt it would have finished in our lifetime. Or yeah. you know, yeah. I, I, I think it was always going to be unfinished. But I think Berserk's already achieved enough mm. that. It doesn't need to be finished. Yeah, you know? it, was, it was like what I said when we talked about, I think last time we spoke about reading manga, where I yeah. just get to, I often get to a point when reading manga, I'm like, I'm satisfied. I, I d genuinely, it, it'd be cool if this ends nicely, mm. yeah. but I've read up to a point where I feel like I'm happy with what I've been given. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like Berserk has definitely done that. For like yeah. mm. there, 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 there's been plenty of moments in Berserk that have felt like a resolution moment. Yeah. Like a big resolution moment, even though not every plot detail was resolved, even though not every loose end was tied up, I feel like it's resolved enough in my heart to mm. make it like impact me yeah. this much mm. already, you know? And yeah. I think, the berserk, you know, the journey of guts is already amazing enough as it is. Mm. And some journeys, you know, some some journeys don't need to come to an end on paper, you know. Yeah. That's it's yeah. I've seen enough of the journey where I'm satisfied. It's yeah. It's incredible. Just knowing that he's he's out there somewhere still. You yeah, know, like yeah, look, exactly. looking for the end, right? Exactly. With the biggest fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> the fat fucking sword. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and honestly I don't know what else to say. It was just it's it's a story that has impacted me. If, yeah. if there's anything we can say on this trash taste episode, it's please go read Berserk. Like yeah. give please it, give it a go. Pay respect to the king. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> honestly, he, he's the he, fucking he is goat. A king. He's yeah. the fucking goat, man. I, I hope you know, uh, if we find out more about the details of, uh, you know, what might have caused his early death, mm. that if it is something to do with being overworked or anything, the lifestyle that I hope it does make a change. If it is, yeah. we don't yeah. know that obviously, we and we might, that. we never know. Mm. But if we do find out more details and it becomes publicly available, mm. and we, you know, we know that maybe being overworked is, yeah, a, yeah, a I think it would be good to at least you know kind of put into the public yeah. discussion, right? Because yeah. you know, you know, even if you are. Uh, you know, you have, because normally with uh, heart problems and this kind of blood stuff, it's normally, there is some hereditary stuff at play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, still at 54, it's young. Like yeah. That. yeah life, lifestyle would have to have play effect. Uh, I, I think effect. so, I, and I, I, just, I just want mine because to not, not have so much stress on their body where it, it mm. fails, you know? I, just, yeah. I don't know, I feel bad, man. It makes me feel shitty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it sucks because I, you know, there's, there's not really much I can add to no, that because no. manga artists work a hell of a- We know, we know they get- we, 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 we know they work way too hard. Whether voluntarily or not, the deadlines that they set themselves or are mm. set on them, they're, yeah. they're too much. Yeah. And it doesn't help that fans are so demanding and that for some fucking reason, the first question that some fans have when an author dies is what happens to the story? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I mean, it, it feels so selfish and it feels that, you know, because we, we as fans also have something where we're selfish and we want yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know though, like surprisingly from what I saw, there weren't as many of those kinds of comments. Yeah. It wasn't that it bad. It just sours your, your, your taste yeah. when you see like even e one. You're yeah, like, every now and then I saw it and I'm like, okay, clearly you don't really yeah. give a shit. But yeah, yeah. But, but, I mean, 99% of fans are great and you yeah. know, understand yeah. and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, there were just some of the insensitive ones. Yeah, yeah but, it, but I mean, it, it, it reminds me of a- uh, But it's like when there's earthquakes and stuff, right? Yeah. People are always just like, Oh, the manga, it's, it's delayed because of an earthquake. And it's like, what do you mean? Like <laughs> people like people die. Like, yeah, what, yeah, like, exactly. it's like, like earthquakes are no fucking joke. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's like with people that most, I mean, you know, obviously with this situation, it was very sensitive, you know, and it was mm. very fresh and people, a lot of people care, but I, I noticed, especially with like earthquakes and stuff, mm. that yeah. people are very quick to be like, oh, who, who gives a shit? It's just an yeah. earthquake. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, I think it plays into the, the overall, sentiment of that a lot of anime fans and manga fans are very demanding for the stuff that they want. Yeah. And I feel like we as fans need to chill out a little bit. Yeah, they, get, they, they care yeah, about the product, but not so much about the person making Yeah, the I feel like yeah, we as yeah. fans generally need to chill out about our passion for yeah. anime and manga. Yeah. And I'd say that. External things happen, yeah. they happen, it is what it is. Remember that you some know. actual person is making your product. Yeah, you know, right? whether it be like, an earthquake or personal yeah. stress, they're all valid yeah. reasons for work to be delayed, yeah, whatever it's delayed, you know? I just want, 
I just want creators to be able to create the shit to the best of their ability. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. not have to worry. I mean, it kind of reminds me of- I hope that's not controversial for me to say. I don't know. I don't what, know. A I don't what, know. what a hot take. What a hot take. I don't know. <laughs> I feel, I feel respect, like- Respect, respect staff members, respect artists. I just artists, feel like when you say this shit, people, like, oh, people behind the work. Yeah. No, I mean, it, I, I'm sure everyone can agree on it. It's just more, you know, we're, I'm sure 99% of yeah, people watching this don't do that. It's just that 1% run. Right? It's yeah. always that 1%. Because I remember, this reminds me of like the Game of Thrones thing with mm. Joe R. R. Martin, where I remember like seeing an interview with him and he was he said that he got annoyed that some people were worried about his health, not because they were worried about his health, but they were worried if he would be alive to finish Game of Thrones. Right. right. And I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. If, like fans are saying that to you, aren't they? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. And even if they didn't say it, I'm sure he knows that people are probably thinking- Yeah, he can read between yeah, the lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, people, of course. Yeah, yeah. People only care about his well being <laughs> in terms of the book. Like he's being fucking held hostage by the story. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You can't fucking yeah. do anything. If anyone knows the intention of Game of Thrones fans, it's the guy who made Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> That's just sad. That's just sad. I don't know. Yeah. It's not like this makes me sad for like yeah. many reasons, you know? There's just it's, so much at play. Uh, this, this does, this, this is why I mean, it's a sad topic, yeah. unfortunately. It's all about the respect. Yeah. That's all it is. Respect, just respect the creators, respect, respect the creators. artists. Yeah. Give them some space if they're feeling sick or need a break. Yeah. Moving yeah. on to light topics though. I heard yes. you've been watching anime recently, Connor. Oh, which I is, kinda, yeah. You watch. Which is, which is a rare, which is a rare feat oh, in and of itself. I remember I used to do that. I know the anime <laughs> well, man. What happened? Did you guys watch Castlevania yet? The new season? I haven't. Not no. season four now. Bro, it's But so, we haven't talked about Castlevania it's yet. It's so we? good. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, with how, well, I mean, I watched up to season three. Oh, if the, yeah. If, yeah, if there's one anime I have like kind of caught up oh, to, it's Castlevania. No. <laughs> Well, like, what did you get up to, Castlevania? Uh, I got up to season three, so I haven't finished season three. I'm about halfway through season three. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, it's just been for me. It's been getting better and better every season yeah. as it's been going yeah. on, and I just haven't had time to binge it yet. So, just, um, I don't know, man. Everything about that anime, especially the past season, just blew it out the water. For what's me. so good about it? Like, I feel like everything that was good in previous seasons mm. was at its best this season. Yeah, really. Like, the story was the best. <laughs> The animation was just insane. Like some of the fights, even yeah. though in, the, in season three, the fights, yeah. like the final fight was so good. Even season one had some great yeah. animation. The, yeah. the, the, it just feels like they've stepped it up. Like again, like I think one of the strongest points of Castlevania has been the voice acting. Mm -hmm. like yeah. the English voice acting. The English voice acting is fantastic. It's insane. Yeah, it's like, fantastic. The fact that they have like all the, all the accents on point, none mm. of the accents feel silly. Yeah. Every yeah. single accent that the characters have, it feels genuine. Every single British accent is on point. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, holy shit. How do they do this? This never happens in anime. <laughs> How do they get a, an actual accent? It's like they hired British actors. <laughs> yeah, like I, I love the fact that, for example, that Jojo in the dub tr like tried to do the accents, yeah. but I wish they'd got the native people. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like in Jojo part one, it's uh, Johnny and Bosch doing in a British accent, which yeah. isn't bad. Yeah, it is. Which isn't bad, but I know there's no shortage of native English uh, British right. accents in that can work in LA, yeah, but, yeah. you know, like, it, it, it feels like the voice actors they hired for Castlevanias were just outside of your usual they were just anime like voice actors. actors. Yeah. yeah, they were yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, they, yeah. they felt like general actors that would act in like a TV series or like a live action movie. Mm. Well, yeah, like because that. they have like, they have such a good variation of British accents. Like mm -hmm. they have like the whole spectrum and each, and they've chosen it. Like the character is given the accent based very specifically on like, where, where, what it would be in the UK, like your, yeah. where you were born, your mm. wealth, your socioeconomic background. It sounds like it's so stupid, but it, it fits every single character. Yeah. And uh, it's just insane because, I mean, I, I you, we can't appreciate, I mean, I can, we can't appreciate that in the Japanese one where yeah. they might get regional accents on point mm. within their own show, right? Sometimes you get like the subtitles where they're supposed to be a bit more like Osaka <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A bit rough, but I can't really appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, I, I've been appreciating Japanese voice acting a lot more recently. Yeah, um, really? because yeah, because I've actually I've actually started to watch anime without subtitles on. Right. So right. I'm like properly forced. Wow, you to are like, like listen level one hundred weeb right now. <laughs> oh no, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the final stage before you graduate weeb. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So like it's the final test. Yeah, so I'm I'm like trying trying to pick up more of my Japanese and. Mm. You know, part of the exercise I've been putting myself through is like yeah. everything I watch now, not subtitled. Like yeah. it, my enjoyment has definitely of anime gone down, but it's like- It helps. It, it, it helps so much more. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's a night and day watching with subtitles on and without subtitles when on. When you don't understand something that's being said, how do you 
do you go back and turn subtitles on or do you just- Yeah, so normally I watch anime on Crunchyroll or Netflix, right? Mm. So Crunchyroll also have the opportunity to select no subtitles. Mm. So I can select no subtitles. If there's something that I really, really want to know what they said, I just rewind a bit, mm. turn on subtitles like, oh, okay, that's what they said. Right, and I move right. on, right? Uh, same thing with Netflix as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, 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 it turns anime to not just like a passive watching thing and you're right. just like actively study watching. Study material. Yeah, so it, it is study yeah. material. Right, right. But if you're gonna have study material, at least yeah. have study material true, you can true, enjoy, true, right? True. Um, it's just it's just a different kind of watching in my eyes. But right. um, since then, I like, I, I remember recently I've been watching Nagatoro without subtitles mm. and I had like my first emotional response to watching an anime and without having subtitles on it, it was just right. it felt it felt nice because i'm just like oh I, I i get what's going on i'm getting emotionally is this invested. these japanese people is, like, is, is this is this why is this why yeah that's exactly yeah. what i felt it's like oh I'm, I'm i'm feeling some stuff now Ooh, oh, oh, is this how the japanese people feel i'm not i'm not reading the subtitles and getting feelings i'm actually hearing it i'm, I'm actually like, listening to it oh I, I, yeah I, I don't know how to quite describe it because it was it was a new feeling for me well gone i do the same thing just with hentai uh, <laughs> because they don't have subtitles most of the time. So I, I just watch them. Fair enough. I, I feel big brain when I, Kim or Chi, I'm like, mm. yeah. yeah well, I got that one, I understand that. I'm kidding, I, I understand most of it actually. <laughs> it just feels weird that I'm doing it with hentai, <laughs> not <laughs> fucking anime. You know, I, I, I have actually learned one word from hentai <laughs> and that was naka. Because <laughs> naka. I, was, I, was, I remember going through my Japanese classes and it like, I was like, uh, so naka means inside. And I was like, <laughs> where have I heard the term naka? Or inside, knee. center. Yeah, or yeah, knee. like inside. Yeah. Where, where I've heard, oh, that's where I've heard that before. It's <laughs> that's a word you'll hear quite often yeah, that's in many different I, contexts. Yeah, that's 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 the word I've I've learned from hentai that can all I can also use in daily life. I can as already well. see the meme. It's like the the fucking the garden drinking with the fucking coffee, watching subtitles, uh, anime with no subtitles, <laughs> watching hentai with no <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> I can already see the meme. Um, but I mean, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the voice acting is just. Fucking stellar, man! I, yeah. I dude, if do every you, do voice acting was like Castlevania, mm. we would I, we would only be watching dubbed anime. I yeah. mean, like, do do you think it's it played a massive part? To I, I assume it's a big part of it is, is because it was dubbed first in English rather than uh, rather than dubbed from Japanese to English. Is there a Japanese dub for it? I'm or pretty sure it? there must yeah. be. I've never yeah. seen it in Japanese. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able dude, to. When you honestly. watch when you watch the dub, it's so goddamn good. It's yeah. actually a shame to watch it in any other language. Yeah. Maybe this is how Japanese people feel with some of that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't have a choice. <laughs> but when yeah, we have yeah. a choice, why would you, you know, you know, pick the one yeah, that, that yeah, is yeah. best, right? Yeah. And uh, this is definitely one of those shows where I'm like, it's 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 not even a competition. Yeah, yeah. Because like but then obviously it was yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah because yeah. when I watched season one, I was like, all right, well the default is in English. Yeah. Right? yeah. Because it's an English production. Yeah. All right, I'll watch episode one. If this it's, it's, you know, voice acting is kind of subpar, then mm. whatever, I'll, I'll change it. Yeah. But literally first five minutes, I was like, all right, English it is then. All right, I'm but this is this it. is it's fantastic. It's like an anime that is written with kind of pretty pretty fucking good American. I would say it's American writers, right? So yeah. I feel yeah. like it's it's a lot easier for the actors to- Cause it's like very, cause, yeah. I, cause the dialogue is like very witty and very- It's really witty. I, 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 really I, I, fucking yeah. funny. Cause you hear the dialogue and it doesn't feel like anime dialogue. It's no. so yeah. fucking funny. It's yeah. good. <laughs> it's very, very witty yeah. and like facetious. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. oh there we go. It's just like, it, it's so rare to find an anime dub where people actually swear. You know, I, I can count them on one hand, you know? Oh, when, when, when someone says fuck or shit, I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, this, this dub's going hard. Oh, we not in Japan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah, so like hearing hearing it just like said so naturally, you know, like like any, yeah. like talking to any other Brit or Aussie, you know, it's, 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 it's something that's like just ingrained into our, Speech. If yeah. you listen to Trash Taste, you'd fucking know that. Mm. Um, but it's it, great too because it doesn't feel forced. No, either. no. Yeah. Because there's a lot of times where they're like, "We're gonna be a little uh, explicit, just yeah. to, just to you know be like ooh edgy and everything." But yeah. like in Castlevania, it's like, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they would totally yeah. say that. Because like when you hear it in an anime or like an anime video game, because yeah. I remember the, the most recent example I can think of is playing Persona Five yeah. uh, dubbed and hearing Ryuji say, Ryuji say shit. I'm just like. Ryuji, <laughs> wash your mouth, sir. You Jeez. are but a child. Excuse me. Yeah, but when, when Trevor Belmont's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's nice. Say it's it like, again, yeah, yeah, say yeah. it again, but louder. Say it again, in my, in my ears. <laughs> Closer. It's so good, dude. I fucking like everything about that. Like, I feel like it, even though it gets a lot of good, good, you know, people say it's very good. Mm. I feel like it should yeah. be way bigger than it is. Mm. It's genuinely like one of my favorite animes that I've watched in like the past like year. 
I, I, I would agree it's with really that. Up it's there really up there. It's really, yeah, it's up I there I can't wait to watch season four fully. And then I really like, need to. Really you're going to be like, all right, okay, yeah. hold that. I mean, I mean, for me right now, it doesn't even feel like an anime. You know, it's- <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it it's like, like it's, it's, it's an American production, it's, obviously. It's but kind of like- We're in the about same, to get into that well, topic. Yeah, 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 it gonna feels in the same <laughs> area as uh, Avatar. Avatar, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but I also say. consider Avatar anime. I mean, Japanese people consider it anime. It's anime. Like, who gives I didn't no, consider no, it no. anime until I actually watched all of Avatar. And I'm like, okay, I can see where this argument never ends. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're getting into semantics, you know, it's it's whatever. Because the only thing I will say is that- Anime or not, it's fantastic. Yeah, anime or not, it's fantastic. But I don't give a shit if you think of it as it's an anime or not. It's just a fantastic show in general. Yeah. All I was trying to say is like, that I don't think people, it, more people in the anime community are talking about it. It's just cause it feels different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, me give, you, let me give different. you an anecdotal story. I was talking to a guy and mm -hmm. I asked him, I was like, oh, which animes do you like? And he goes, one anime that I watched recently that I really liked, this is on Japanese. Like I recently watched Despicable Me Too. <laughs> it was one of my favorite animes of recent. And I was like, <laughs> That that completely <laughs> hold it up. It made me. It made me. It made me realign this whole argument of like, is is this anime? Is this not? I'm like, listen, yeah, this guy, yeah. dead ass, this otaku, self proclaimed otaku, just told me, Despicable Me is a good anime. I'm yeah. like. You know what? Why are we arguing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I think it's I, I think it's a stupid argument. Yeah, I feel as well. like this is a clown argument. Yeah, this yeah, man yeah. Just killed the argument. This is literally just like the West versus the West. Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> like, we, made this, like, we made this argument out of nothing. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. The Japanese is, are like, we're not, we're not part of this it's, argument. It's, at the, all. it's that Simpsons picture where like the people are surrounding the two monkeys fighting. It, <laughs> that's 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 it, the Japanese I, watching anime fans argue about if this is anime yeah, or not. It just felt like we were like, this is how all religious fighting started way back in like the the hundredth century. We just made we just made an argument yeah. out of nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, because I mean, yeah, because I mean, fucking, you ask a Japanese person, Monsters Inc., Shrek, it's all anime. It's yeah. just crazy to me. Because in it Japan, just, anime just means animation. I've never just had like fucking. Hit, I got hit by yeah. a truck when he said Despicable Me was an anime. It, just hit, <laughs> it hit me, man. It hit me real like. Fuck, I, I was like, this man's built different saying that. Right? Yeah. Would have ass. been a different story if it was like the minions of my waifu. Like that would have been different. Dude, they're well, I, I don't know. Fucking, I don't know why they're obsessed with minions they're here. They're obsessed with minions in Japan. It's fucking everywhere. I hate, I hate it. it. I hate so it. we hate visited it. Joey's new apartment <laughs> like last week. Yeah. And uh, Joey's- just a slight jo detour. Yeah, Joey's <laughs> slight detour. It, 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 it will get back on topic because we, he was showing us around and he shows us into the last room and he's like, oh, do you guys want a free gift? I was given a free gift from the moving the moving department. Do you guys want it? And we're like, sure, Joey, what is it? Dead ass just brings out this massive minions mini, mini fridge, fridge yeah. and expects us to take it. And he takes this thing out and we're just looking at Joey being like, Joey, what do we want to do with this? What, yeah. what, what are we going to do with this? And he was like, Maybe we can put it in the trash taste studio. No. I'm like Joey, the trash taste studio isn't your dumping ground. Yeah. I, I have a gift is roughly translated to, I need to get rid of my trash. Yeah. <laughs> please, please take it. I will pay money. Cause that's, I guarantee that's what they did to Joey. They were yeah. like, oh. Joey, Joe, I know, I know we're moving all the stuff for you, but here, have a free gift. Yeah. Have a Minions mini fridge. And they're like, thank God we finally got rid of that shit. <laughs> we're doing you a favor. Yeah. It was. Despicable. <laughs> oh my God. I'm break time. <laughs> break time. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Vessi. You're probably wondering, what is Vessi? Well, I'm glad to answer that question. It's a comfortable, stylish, everyday sneaker that you can wear even in winter. And the best part about it is that it's waterproof. 100% waterproof shoes. Yes, Jerry. And one of the best parts about Vessi is that it is super easy to clean. Just toss on some water to it or throw it in the washing machine and it'll be brand new. Vessi shoes are made via Dymatex, a dual climate knit that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It doesn't feel like it should be waterproof at all. And one of the best things about Vessi is that it just looks like an everyday sneaker, so you can just wear it every single day. And I'm very lazy and only like to have like one pair of shoes to wear, so this is perfect for me. Plus, Vessi shoes are sustainably made with less material waste, less water, water waste and no animal byproducts. So you yeah. vegans can enjoy these as well. Also personally, and I'm, I know the boys can relate, it's rainy season right now in Japan and yep. having a shoe that's waterproof is very nice because you don't have to worry about those goddamn massive deceptive puddles getting your shoes in the socks. Nothing very is worse than a wet sock. So if that sounds interesting to you, check them out in the description or use coupon code trash taste to get $25 off your Vessi orders. Look at these boys. Back to the episode. Speaking of another anime that has like really unique voice actors in their cast. Are you guys excited for Eden? Yeah, I am actually. That is yeah. like one that I saw, I saw little bits and pieces of it. I mean, I knew of it because yeah. our boy Kev. Our boy Kevin is, doing, boy the Kevin is doing the soundtrack. Shout out to our boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're just simping, all right. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, yeah, I'm pretty Kevin. excited for it. I mean, it's one of those things that wasn't really on my radar massively. It was just like, I know Kevin's doing the soundtrack. Yeah. I'm probably going to watch so I can be like, great job, Kevin. Yeah, I wasn't excited until I saw the clips that we were shown, which mm. is by the time this podcast comes out, the entire series would have already been released. Right, right. But from the clips that we were shown, I was genuinely like surprised how excited for this I was. I wasn't that excited before mm. because yeah. I didn't really know what it was about or how you know good it was going to be. Mm. All I know were the names involved. And mm. what stood out to me was, of course, Kevin doing the soundtrack. So of course I was always going to watch it, but then the cast list got released and people like David Tennant are in it, yeah, like, Neil Patrick yeah. Harris. Yeah. I was like, what I is going on? Smurfs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. My favorite movie. <laughs> My favorite movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I mean, uh, the clips we saw as well, the animation, Looked really fucking good for the, yeah. like the way they matched uh, the 3D with the amazing 2D backgrounds. Mm. Yeah. Fucking amazing. And again, the music was just fucking banging. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I kind of want to just wait till I watch it. I don't want to get too hyped for it just yeah. in case. Okay. Yeah. But it looked good. I, I have mean, it's literally out this week. Is so, it really? Yeah. I feel like it's going to be a seven out of 10 for me. Really? I feel I get that vibe. Maybe, maybe. I get that it vibe. It depends because it depends if it's like how it's going to play out, whether it's going to be one long series, because it's a four episode series. Mm. So is it going to be only four episodes or is it going to be like kind of like a movie mini series kind of thing? That's mm. what I want to know. I'm hoping it fucks me up, you know, makes me very emotional. Yeah. But I have a feeling they're going to play it really safe. It's going to be quite like a safe story. Yeah. I, we'll I, just, see, I, just yeah. The, I just got that vibe from the clips we watched. So mm. we'll see. I, I, I got wanna, that vibe. I be pleasantly I was, surprised. I, was, I got that vibes that I was going to feel things by the end of it. And <laughs> yeah, the same way I did in the end of Monsters Inc. You know, <laughs> I feel like that's what are you, the. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, when, he, when they finally, you know, they got rid of Randall, that yeah. mm, rascal. And yeah, they say they, goodbye to Boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they say goodbye. Yeah. It was yeah. very Monsters, Monsters Inc. is a great movie. No, it yeah. was actually. That's a terrible yeah. example. Yeah. I, yeah. I cried my eyes I out. Just, um, I was just like, if it's anything like Monsters Inc., uh, I'm going to be happy as fuck. I'm, I'm only thinking of great movies right now. I was about to say, I was about to say The Incredibles. I'm like, no, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. uh, like the I feel like they've. I feel like these are the movies that have just been memed so much that you forget that they're that, actually bangers. That they're actually yeah. really good fucking movies. Why is so hard like to think of like end, subpar like movies. Like the ending yeah. of Mulan 2, straight to DVD. I, d I did not even watch that. I haven't watched it either. Yeah. I, just, it's I didn't even know there was a Mulan 2. There is, there's a Mulan 2 oh straight to DVD God. movie. But the point, the point is, is that I feel like it, it I, again, I want it to be a super emotional fucks me up, but I just kind of got the feeling it looked pretty safe. But again, yeah. I, I hope it does. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I will watch it at the end I'm of just week. wondering because it was a Netflix adaptation was it cast first in english or was it dubbed first in english because that's that's what i really thought it was an original story i have a feeling it yeah, might it was, have been cast first in english yeah because these are some big fucking names to put behind an anime and you don't normally see these names unless it's like a ghibli movie yeah. where yeah. disney is dubbing it right mm. so that's that's what that's what that's what i'm most interested about because we talked about how you know in which order it gets dubbed really does i feel affects how a dub feels well it depends well, what language is the script written in? Yeah, exactly. That's right. the big question. Yeah. Because you can't really write two scripts simultaneously that are like one to one. Yeah. So it's. Oh, especially it's, when it comes to like English and Japanese, oh, yeah, where it's like just, fundamentally yeah. completely different. Yeah, know? where the sentence structure is opposite at yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think the more I learn Japanese, the, mo the more I appreciate what translators have to do. And especially yeah. when it comes to localizing a dub. But at the same time, the more I understand Japanese, the more I'm just like, man, this just this just doesn't give. Like, I, I, I get the localization thing, but it's mm. just sometimes a sentence just doesn't give me the same feeling when I'm reading well, it in English versus hearing it in Japanese. Yeah. And it's, this, yeah, I, th I think this is why when you first start out as an anime fan, and you really start to get into it. You got this thing where you're like, I only want pure 100% translation. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. Yeah. Don't fucking don't you dare change any of the meanings of the words. Right. Yeah. I think when you get when you get into it more, and you start you start watching a lot more anime, and then it becomes a bit tedious to watch a bit anime, and you just kind of want to watch it dubbed. You kind of start to appreciate when they appreciate it when they just localize it and they do it well. Yeah. Well, it's also the fact that just sometimes there are just some, you know, phrases and like, you know, that just don't meanings that well. just don't translate at all. Right, again, I mean, like one of the best dubs of all time, back in it. Like yeah. there's a lot of sentences that, that were just like changed to an extent where it's not even remotely what the guy said, yeah. but, it's, yeah. but, it's, but it's the same. It makes sense contextually. Yeah, right? it's the yeah. same kind of feeling, but they've instead of playing it super safe they were like no no we think we could improve this for an english mm, audience mm, yeah which is a bold thing to do you know and we've had a lot of failures <laughs> yeah we've yeah. had a lot of uh, <laughs> things that have gone wrong a lot of questionable yeah. ones but yeah. i do really appreciate when it's done right and i yeah. appreciate it more so than a attempted translation because i feel like the actors have a way harder time exactly. delivering japanese dialogue 
essentially. Yeah. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah, because it's really hard to also perform directly translated to Japanese yeah. dialogue to make it sound natural in English because there's just sometimes where it's like, that doesn't sound like something someone would say in English. Yeah. You know, like I, I especially felt that more when I, because like when I did like a bit of translation work during like school and stuff like that. And I like learned linguistics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's where I was like, because I also used to be like, how hard could it be? Just like direct translate it, yeah. you know, it, to get the meaning across. But then when I actually started doing it, I was like, oh no, you, you just can't. Like yeah. it's, it's not a matter of like preference or anything like yeah. that. It's just like, you physically can't. There were just some Japanese like ways of saying things that where you just like, if I did directly translate it, it would just be a bunch of words. Yeah. Well, it's weird. Don't I, I think, cause I don't know if, uh, even though I spoke two languages from birth, mm -hmm. I always thought as languages as like, they're all just the same thing, just mm -hmm. said in different ways. But then like, <laughs> if that makes sense, where every, everything can be one-to-one -one translated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, no, no, meaning, I, I, every, I, I get every, what you mean. Yeah, every yeah, meaning yeah. can be expressed in another language. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I think cause we've been spoiled cause things have been a whole life. We've just had been, things that yeah, have been, been translated. Fred. English, so we've yeah. never known what the other side it's, is it's like. It's English, it's been translated for us. Mm. And even again, even though I spoke two languages, I could never wrap my head around this concept until I started learning Japanese, yeah. where I was like, oh, it's just like, it's it's like another planet where it hasn't even touched mm. anything. Yeah. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe the, describe it, it, this it, like it's, mental. It's, it's so hard to describe for someone who only speaks one language, right? Because mm. I remember the first time I noticed this was uh, I was watching a Thai film with Sydney, right? And I, you know, she obviously had English subtitles mm. on, and as someone who you know speaks both yeah. Thai and can read English, it was really distracting. One because. It, it felt like I was hearing something and seeing something and they both meant the same thing, but, but they, they felt were, different yeah. for me. It's, yeah. it's, it's, this, it's this language dissonance that right. I can't quite describe, right? But, yeah. but it, it's, it's, it's something that I think, I feel like having now trying to learn a language that, you know, part of, part of a culture and part of like an, in, like an entire country's, you know, way of thinking and culture is just ingrained 100%. into a language. Yeah. There's just, it's just so much deeper than just, I say one thing, it means another thing. Like I would say that depending on what, depending on what language I speak, my personality kind of shifts as well, yeah, because definitely, it's, definitely. it's a different, it's a different kind of way of thinking when you're mm. speaking another language. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so hard to describe for anyone who, only speaks one language, but anyone who does speak two languages will probably understand that you probably have a slightly different personality speaking one language compared to another. Because I, I apparently have a completely different personality when I speak Japanese compared to English. You're a lot softer, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, you're a lot what, softer. in English or Japanese? Japanese? Japanese. Really? I think so. I always thought it was the opposite. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe don't that's know. just surface level, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I, but like, I, I also realize as well, cause you know, sometimes you're in, you're in class or whatever, you're asking, oh, what is, how do I say this in Japanese? Like, mm. no, no, you can't, you can't say that in Japanese. It doesn't yeah. exist in Japanese. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a concept. Yeah. They've never thought of that. Yeah. They, oh God, you just fucking like flash back to me in school. Everyone being like, how do you say fuck in Japanese? <laughs> 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 like, okay, how do I explain this? <laughs> yeah. And then like, I realized because Welsh and English, because although, mm. They are entirely different languages and everyone thinks, oh, they're just, oh, well, Welsh is just another version of English. It's, just, <laughs> it's like completely different. It's, you know. But like, you're in the UK and yeah, in the speaking like, country. Like German is closer to English than Welsh is. Like, hmm. um, and it, it, it's the reason why I think that I never had this realization before was because it's the culture that you grew up in. Yeah. And because mm. the countries are have a similar culture now, at least yeah. in the modern mm -hmm. day, the concepts do sort of translate because We've made them translate. Yeah. Like we've made the concepts are felt by both. And yeah. so that they're, they're, they're translating. There isn't, there isn't like the cultural gap. Right, right. right yeah, because yeah. the cultural gap is like inherently there's just sayings and stuff that will never ever have a meaning, no matter how much you try and translate them. No. Because yeah. it's just an inherent it's a feeling and it's a I don't know. This is just a weird the concept that we're going down and it's it seems so yeah, obvious. None, none, like, none of us none of us are linguists. This no. is this is all just our thoughts from learning a different language yeah. from mm. speaking multiple languages. Um, but I, th I think the best thought experiment I can think of is like any anyone who speaks English, like how would you explain the concept of the word fuck to someone who doesn't speak English and someone who didn't grow up here? Yeah. Uh, that's like, it's, it's so I did, I don't even know where I would begin to start, you know, right, like, yeah. I, like if, if you didn't, if you don't know, like, you know, if you didn't grow up in the culture, if you didn't grow up with people saying it around you, see, hearing that word everywhere, I'm just like, how do I explain the right way to use the word fuck? I mean, I, I literally made a video with, cause they made a t an entire textbook purely for the word fuck. Now, it's like, yeah, it, it's, it's, like it's like a 70 page textbook that goes through all the different ways you can use fuck. Yeah. And like, I thought it was a gag at first when I bought it, but then when I actually started reading, I was like, 
Okay, that's how you explain it. Apparently there is a way to explain it. It just takes 70 pages. And, and the fact that it takes 70 pages just yeah. shows how complicated it is, even though for us, it's just second nature and it just makes sense, yeah. right? And like the opposite can be said for like Japanese to English, right? Like how do you mm -hmm. explain to an English speaker what Yoroshiku means? It's, yeah, I mean, it's because I, like it's it's a it's a purely cultural thing that like it makes complete sense in Japanese. Yeah. But then every time, like every time in anime they say like Yoroshiku, there's always a different way of that yeah. someone's yeah, translating. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a different way to translate depending on the um, context of the scene, right? Yeah, or the yeah. context of what he's saying yeah, it like, in, like I, like I saying I guess so. Like oh, I guess so. It's yeah. like it's yeah. not a thing in Japanese. You can't right. translate it. It's not yeah, even yeah. In, even in Welsh. It's not not yeah. a thing. Like it's yeah. it's such an English thing that because none of the words mean what the the, they mean all together. Mm, yeah, like yeah. It's, mm. it's a weird concept that we just make up. We do that with a lot. I find that yeah. shit fascinating, bussin. dude. Yeah, bussin. 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 <laughs> bussin. <laughs> the fuck, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I literally just learned that word today. Man, I can't even keep up with my own language. How the fuck are Japanese people meant to keep up with my language, right? <laughs> bussin. But going back to anime. Yeah, going back again, to anime. Like, again, I, I appreciate what you're saying so much more. Uh, we obviously, I don't know if you. I I watched like two episodes of Yasuke. That was that was pretty good. The mm -hmm. voice acting I really enjoyed. I need to watch that yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, the, from two episodes, I wasn't really sold on the story. Again, mm -hmm. I knew about the. Uh, if you don't know about Yasuke, the plot is about essentially uh, Nobunaga, uh, way back in the Edo period, uh, had Sengoku uh, period. Sengoku period. Sorry, mm -hmm. Sengoku period had. Uh, just met a black guy at a market and was like, I want him to fight for me. Yeah. And he was it's like- based on of a his, real person as well. Yeah, and yeah. was one of his closest uh, like allies, I guess. Mm. He was very, and the story kind of expands, uh, expands on it. But I saw a bunch of this on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. And I thought this would be a fucking badass anime. Shit, yeah. you're not like two weeks later, got it announced <laughs> on Netflix. And I was like, wow, I guess I should start wishing for things. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no, it was really, it's, it really, there's, there's, I highly encourage you to go read up about it. It's super interesting and you just wouldn't expect it's, it. It's uh, it's also done by LaShawn Thomas. LaShawn Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done by LaShawn Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know who the animation studio is, Mapper. but- Oh, is it Mapper? But yeah, Mapper. I, I do think that if you want to learn act, this is not like the best at explaining, at least from the first two episodes, I was like, this is wildly different uh, yeah. from- because I mean, like, You said there was like magic. There's magic, mechs. there's mechs and stuff and it's like, I'm like, Don't I'm pretty sure that didn't exist in feudal Japan. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean- That was literally LaShawn Thomas going, fuck it. Well, yeah, I get it. You're an <laughs> anime, throw everything go, in. Go, go crazy with yeah, it. But exactly. in, in some aspects, I'm also like, this is such a fucking badass story mm. by yeah. itself yeah. that it doesn't need anything added. It's so mm. goddamn, like the best parts of like, again, I've only watched two out of six. The best parts, the first two episodes were the parts were like, Pre, because there's a there's a time skip, mm. pre time skip where there's like no magic or shit, where he's just fighting sword to sword, mm, and it's yeah. just man to man combat. It's so goddamn good, and the story and it builds on all the obviously because you know back then got be a lot of issues with race with that yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, obviously, yeah. of course. You, yeah. <laughs> they weren't too happy yeah. about it when Nobunaga was like, "This is my best friend." Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and building on that was so interesting. Mm. And, I, and I thought like the best parts of the anime were that. And uh, again, yeah, I the story is just so cool. Like go and read up about it. There's tons of YouTube videos about yeah. it. It's I actually, I actually fucking, like went and like fucking researched. It's so Yasuke, fucking like, cool. Like the real life Yasuke, yeah. just cause like I had no fucking I mean, it's, idea. It's a badass story. Oh yeah, yeah it's fucking badass. Yeah. yeah. It's it, it it's like, it's do, so do, bizarre do, that it could be fictional. Like, do, yeah, right. do, do you feel like the mech and magic aspects added to that story? Or do you think it felt out For of place? For me personally, I didn't really enjoy it. Like right. I, I wanted, I was hoping it was you just hope you, you just wanted the, the story pure, of the SK. That's like what the, I wanted. You want you wanted like a samurai champlu style like Kinda, story, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, but then again, like is that you, historically no, accurate. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I mean, there were break dancing samurai back there weren't in the magic and mechs well, samurai well, champlu. Again, true, the true. music in the first two episodes is pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. It's really good. The voice acting, top fucking notch. Yeah. Even yeah. in the Japanese, it's really good. And like, you know, even in the Japanese, Yasuke is is played by a black Japanese guy, which is insane to see. That's awesome. It's normally not on the priority list for yeah, Japanese. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's really cool seeing that. You know, why why wouldn't you want that? Uh, mm. I, yeah, I mean, everything else about it, I I was digging everything. I, I you know, I, I mm. haven't really been motivated to watch the rest of it. Right. But I think that's because the max thing's gonna put me off and the magic and stuff. And mm. I was like, oh, man. I mean, the short clips I watched of it was fuck. It, it like I didn't realize it was like gonna be that fucking bloody and gory as well. Oh, dude, it's good. Like some of the scenes like reminded me of like a '90s OVA, like Ninja Scroll it feels like, like Kill levels Bill at some point. Yeah, it was like, like Kill was Bill, insane. Ninja Scroll like levels of like oh yeah. oh that's oh that's brutal. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I still haven't seen it, but I. 
I don't check it out. You'll know, I, I, you'll I, know I, I, you, I will. I will definitely check it out. You'll know if it's for you in the first three episodes. Because yeah. like, I really like the Sean Thomas's work anyway, so I was going to yeah. watch it. Mm. Just it's just hard to find time with all the fucking anime in the season and yeah. everything, right? Which you two don't know about. No, I, guess. I can't relate. I've been meaning to watch a bunch. I've yeah. been meaning to watch eighty six. Eighty six is actually really, yeah, really which good. I've been to I, watch. I I I probably say that's my. F- Favorite? Oh, I can't say favorite. It's it's hard. It's it's definitely top top three of my favorite anime out this season right now. That's like a mecha, and it just right? it just feels good to have an original mecha show that just gives me the same feeling as like some of the OG mecha shows that made me really really like the genre because mm. it feels like it's been so long since we've just had a non Gundam, non Code Geass, or non big franchise mecha show that yeah, true. has actually been really really good mm. because. True. Most of the mecha shows I remember that's been coming out recently have either been like Darling in the Franks where I get invested and it kind of does shit that falls flat or like I really enjoyed Grid- And then triggers like, let me introduce this. Yeah. <laughs> or then you've had things like uh, SSS Gridman, which fucking amazing show, but it's like, it's a mecha show, but it's also a bit tokusatsu. So it's not mm. like, it's it, it's it's like, it's like a cross It's not like breed. a vanilla mecha show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure, but, vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla mecha, mecha, mecha show. Where it's just mecha and that's it, yeah. Yeah, but 80, 86, you know, gives me the same feelings of when I when I first watched Code Geass, Areca 7, all the mechs that I watched in the mid 2000s that mm. really made me love the fucking genre. Yeah. Um, it's still early days. I don't know if it's gonna be like 24 episodes or 12 episodes where there's gonna be a complete story. I'm really hoping so, but mm. it's just really, really good. I mean, Fair enough. do you know Do you know the story it. of it at all? I don't wanna know anything. All I've heard that yeah. it's good and I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna watch it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah just, I don't go into, just go into a blind is the mm-hmm. best way, I think. I watched uh, The Way of the Husband on Netflix as well. Way of the House Husband. Mm. That's it, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was very funny. I was I haven't had an anime make me laugh out loud constantly. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. It's for like two hours. Yeah. I mean, it's. I thought it was going to be like 10 episodes, 24 minutes, but it's like five episodes of like 12, 15 minutes. Yeah, I only saw three episodes. I was like, I got the rest of the season to binge. I didn't know it was only five episodes. It's five episodes. Yeah. Okay. I kind of, it kind of sucked that it literally just like it was just ended. It was like, this is the last skit. It's done, <laughs> bye-bye. And then it was like, there was no ending or anything. It wasn't right. like, see you next time or anything. Yeah. There was, it was just like, okay, skit over, go the fuck home, get out of here. Go, go watch something Because each of the chapters in the manga are really, really short. Yeah, yeah. They're like maybe like yeah. five, six pages, like max. So. Well, I thought the pacing was fantastic. Mm. Um, yeah. I know obviously it caused a lot of controversy with the animation. Mm. Yeah. I saw a lot of people complaining on Twitter. Ah, uh, I what do you couldn't think? decide. I flip flopped. There were some sketches where I felt they did it really good. Mm. Yeah. And there was some where I'm like, holy fuck, this was so lazily done. Mm. Right. And it depended on the sketch. Well, I, th- I think it just went down to the classification because I think we've briefly talked about this on t- Trash Taste After Dark. Yeah. But like my opinion of it was that it's not so much an anime in the traditional sense where it's basically just a motion comic. It is. Mm. It is just a motion. I wish it was yeah. labeled that and advertised as that. Yeah. Instead of but an I, anime I, I, adaptation. I, I do. But, I, yeah. But I feel if you labeled it as motion comic adaptation, then I think less people would have been interested in it, right? Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. True. But then also you set this, I, you I, set this expectation that this is going to be a thing that might happen. Yeah. Because I feel mm. like it was that, and it being on Netflix as well. Netflix really picking this up, which gave it like people preconceived expectations. Because mm. to me, I watched it. I thought it was funny as fuck. I thought right. the animation worked for some of the jokes. You know? Again, like it's it's up there with like, I thought it was just as funny as like Sakamoto for me, if not funnier yeah, at yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was so goddamn funny and it scratched that itch that I didn't know I was longing for. Yeah. Like I was, every single episode I was fucking cackling, laughing out loud it's, alone. It's like that weird like surrealist comedy, right? Where it's, it's so like, good. You just don't know what's what he's gonna say next. No, yeah, what's yeah. gonna happen, right? And, and every time you feel like you've figured out how absurd he is, he yeah. just does something else. Yeah, you know, like, this yeah, is just yeah. fucking funny. If you, ha- if you haven't watched it, Please go and watch it. It's just about like a Yakuza member who gets married and straightens out and has become a housewife. Exactly. Yeah. House yeah. husband. And, and yeah, it's just really funny. But mm. it would have been a, like, a, it would have been a nine or a 10 for me if, again, like, I don't know if I don't really like the the motion comic style. Well, would you, do you think it would have been funnier with, say, just mediocre adaptation? Like, Honestly, uh, yeah. me- mediocre animation, sorry. Genuinely, yeah. Because there, there was so little animation on it anyway. And there's just times I'm like, I wish they just did a little bit on this just to help mm. sell the joke. I, mm. I feel like the lack of animation helps sell some jokes, if anything. I agree, just, I agree. Some of them, just, yeah. just because it, some of it just looked ridiculous. And then that to me just made it more funny. You but, know? I, but imagine this anime in like Nichijo style. Yeah, but like name another comedy anime that's on niche show level. Well, there, is, there, that. there isn't, but I'm just saying like, if you had the choice. No, no, you would. no. If I had the choice between that, I'd always go for fucking niche show animation, yeah, even like yeah. Konosuba animation, right? Yeah. Cause Konosuba, 
I, th I think a lot of people underestimate how good the character animation in Konosuba is. That yeah. really sold so much of the voice acting performance where a lot of other comedy anime I feel have fallen flat because you have amazing voice acting performance, you have amazing source material and the animation is just like the okay. most okay animation yeah. that really does nothing to enhance the yeah, source maybe material. I'm being too hard on it. I don't know. Where, I, I, I think I was just shocked at how little there was. Yeah. Whereas with Way of the House Husband, it had amazing voice acting, obviously, it had amazing oh, source material. And I feel like because they didn't try, it kind of like suited that comedy style perfectly. Mm. Right. And, 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 and I feel like to me, if you couldn't have amazing animation, I would have preferred to have it have like just not, not even like bad animation, just like a very unique style of limited animation that really helps sell some of the weirder and more ridiculous parts mm. of the manga. Cause it is yeah. a ridiculous manga. And I, I feel like the animation style helped accentuate some of the ridiculous moments mm. to yeah, me. Yeah, there's some moments where I was like, yeah, okay, this joke works with this animation. There's others where I'm like, yeah. this really needed more to help yeah. sell some of this joke. I don't know that personally. I feel like maybe a mix could have like really, yeah. really propelled it. Mm. Did you, have, you, have you seen clips of the, there's a Japanese live action adaptation I have, have you not. seen this? I've I seen it. Yeah. It's so bad. It's it's, <laughs> it's so funny. It's like <laughs> it's it's tragic. Wait, what's that? Uh, describe it to me. It's just like okay, the main guy. It looks like a cosplay. It doesn't. It look is like, a cosplay. <laughs> yeah, like it looks like a cosplay, not like an actual actor. Or anything. Yeah. Huh? Like the guy isn't like built enough. It is quite. Skinny. It is like former Malcolm's live action. And then levels. his friend. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. And then his friend in the anime, who is really young and supposed to be like the young gang member, yeah. looks really fucking old. And like, <laughs> the, the I mean, I didn't watch it like fully. I only watched like clips of it on YouTube, and yeah. I was just like, right. oh no. <laughs> it's it's bad because I, I there's like a there's a I watched the same skit both of them compared yeah. and like the 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 humor just wasn't nearly as good in uh, live action. Like, right. was the, I don't know why, I feel like they didn't, like, cause with animation, you can really sell the absurdity and in the uh, live no, action. That's one, the point, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, but mm -hmm. the, yeah, but they, they didn't work very well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like- And also <sighs> Japanese acting and, and TV shows, I don't know how they are so bad, but I've never seen yeah. Japanese acting in a TV show and been like, that's fantastic. <laughs> Unless it's like Ken Watanabe. <laughs> Literally, it's like, he's the only one. Yeah. Like, I, I feel bad saying that because I feel like there's such a broad statement, but mm. I've, I've watched so much Japanese TV mm -hmm. and all the drama acting is appalling. Yeah, it's not it's good. It's so bad. Yeah, especially in like the live action, like the, especially yeah. when a live action anime yeah. adaptation of yeah. a Japanese TV show or a Japanese anime, yeah. it's, it's always, it's so weird seeing live action actors yeah. try to act like anime characters or doing like the anime yeah. style acting. Right. Cause, Cause you watch like Korean dramas and Korean adaptations of stuff and it's so much better. Korea, yeah. they like, I watched uh, like Sweet Home, uh, the webtoon uh, adaptation okay. into Netflix and the actors were fucking amazing in it. Oh, like, is it a live action adaptation? It's a live action. Oh, and shit. the actors are like that. really fucking good. Like yeah. they're like every single time I've watched a Korean movie or Korean mm. drama, I'm always so impressed at how fucking good. Not not yeah. not to saying that the acting isn't bad, but mm. yeah. I just thought for some reason I'm like, oh, I've seen Japanese acting. It's gonna be more right. of the same. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be over the top dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the time, but it's like, no. I mean, like I, I, I feel like especially in recent years, Korean movies it's and Korean so dramas good. and they, shows they, have just like they they are like. They are way ahead of like 100%, Japanese J dramas 100%. and J movies. Mm. I mean, there's so many movies where I'm like, fucking compared to English, it like shits on them. Like some of the, like Old Boy is like, I love that movie. Fucking, and, and that's, that, that's actually based on a manga. Did yeah, you know? I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, no. really? Yeah, old, uh, old Boy was originally a manga. Oh, that I got adapted that. into a Korean movie. And like, oh, that's cool. That is, that that movie is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking amazing. is so goddamn good in that yeah. movie. I fucking love it. The cinematography that's, is fantastic. I mean, that's that. one of the greatest foreign films of all time. And it's so good. You know, it's so good. You know, it's up there as with like Parasite is like, for, to me, it's one of the best Korea, Korean movies I've seen. Even though I've seen a lot, there are so many good Korean movies, right? Mm. And I feel like people are now just figuring out that man, Koreans make good movies. They oh, make- yeah, they're very good. Yeah. Yeah, Train yeah. to Busan as well. I remember oh, the first time- I remember movie. the first time watching Train mm -hmm. to Busan, mm -hmm. I was like, I've seen zombie movies. I know how this works. Yeah. And for some reason it didn't do like, on like a, you know, on paper, it doesn't do that much different to every other zombie movie, but it's just so fucking good. Yeah. I, and and I, I can't pinpoint why it was so good, but it's just, I don't know what it is. Like when I watch Japanese TV, I feel like it's like a pantomime. You know what I mean? It does feel like, it feels like that level of acting where it's right. like, is there somebody behind me? I better not look. And then, the, <laughs> whoa. It's like, no, it's I, I, like I feel that. I feel like with Japanese acting, it's it's very reminiscent to anime. 
yeah. or anime acting, mm. which yeah. it, anime acting works for anime, but it doesn't work for live action acting at all. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was asking some friends. I'm like, oh, I was like, because I was watching with with them. Like, oh, are they famous? Are they famous? They're like, oh yeah, they're a famous voice actor. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you're a famous voice actor, you can get roles in TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of strange because it's normally the other way around. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. With, yeah. Uh, you know, Western stuff. And it's just yeah. odd to think because I feel like, you know, as someone who does voice acting, it does not translate to the like <laughs> IRL acting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, it, and, like, it's acting, a completely different skill set. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you understand the fundamentals of acting, yeah. but, you know, can you hit the mark? You know, yeah. you're not being told how to walk. You're not being told yeah. how to act physically. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. what you do have to learn. That is separate. Um, yeah. But there's a lot you don't think about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting. I, I just wonder why. I sit there and I'm just confused. I'm like, why is Japanese acting like generally not as good? And ge not not saying that there's no, there's zero Japanese good <laughs> actors. Just saying in general, the TV production is pretty lackluster. I think maybe it's because like, they don't really think of like the outs like outside of Japan movie industry as much of a competition. Like right. they might think mm -hmm. it's like because you know at le with like you know Hollywood films or like English speaking films, right? Like right. you're not only competing with Hollywood, but you're competing with literally every other English speaking country, right? And every every other English speaking production. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I feel the Japanese film industry is kind of in its own bubble. But oh, they're so kind of just like no no, no for driving force. There's no like driving force or like improve. threat to make them be like we got to step up our game or right. like or maybe the fact that like they're probably like just unaware, right? Yeah. They probably just think like well you know English speaking productions and like other productions that aren't Japanese do this in this way, mm. but yeah. for us this works with our type of audience. So yeah. there's no like, they, don't, they probably don't even think this yeah. is bad acting, right? I, I, yeah, I'm sure people are gonna co comment, be like, there are so many good Japanese films. You know, no, there, there, yeah, there, no, there, there are, are there are. Of, there are a lot of good I've Japanese films. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's, in, but it's a lot rarer to find yeah. a really, really good yeah. Japanese they film. They come far and few in between. Yeah, yeah. Because and especially in like, J dramas, I feel. As J well. dramas like is J even hot. Yeah. Holy fuck! That's what I mean. That's where you really see. I, I, I yeah. feel. I that's feel where like, you see the pinnacle. Yeah. I, I, I feel like the right way to describe J dramas from like the majority I've watched is just they are very campy. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's very like a pantomime, campy. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything it's, is it's fucking over so the top. It's so campy, yeah. and you know, there, there, there's, there's an audience for that, and there's like a, um, you know, there's, you know, I do enjoy some J dramas, but it's. It's it's less of I think this is a good show and more just like I I, I can just get behind this show you know yeah. I, I like I like whatever source material is adapting and also I don't frank, frankly I don't give a fuck about cinematography right, right. I, I don't really care too much I, I'm not very picky you know well that's good because but, J drama has well, zero well, this cinematography what I'm gonna say. well J J dramas. <laughs> They shoot it like a fucking, like a daytime TV commercial. Why does it look like that? Like, yeah. I never thought I would give a shit about that yeah. until I watched Jade. But that's the point, armor. that's the point. You don't give a shit about cinematography until you, something, you see something that has no cinematography, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> It's like, what, are you gonna fucking advertise me a plunger that does four in one any second now? I'm waiting for it because of how it's shot. It's ridiculous. I don't know why it looks like that. It's so weird. Yeah, I feel like I've seen some YouTube videos with better cinematography than some of the stuff out there in J dramas <laughs> right Chris now. Chris brought, brought in Japan channel. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. That'll make Chris's day. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that'll make up for the lack of his signature. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate, I hate shitting on it because I don't really know. I don't really understand why. I don't really know if they care. I don't really know if there's a want to improve. I, I just I don't genuinely- understand. I just, I just don't film, I just don't think the audience is there. No, I don't, no yeah. the audience doesn't give a shit. Well, it's, yeah. it's normal. I mean, I mean, the majority of the population here is older. So mm. yeah, generally- I they, mean, to be fair, I have seen a bunch of J dramas where the cinematography is absolute ass, but I've still mm -hmm. enjoyed it because the story was just genuinely really, really good. Yeah. And yeah. it wasn't until like, it, it, it was like an afterthought of like, oh yeah, that was a good J drama, but the cinematography was shit. I saw this one and it was like, I think it was like a James Bond show. Mm. And it was like a, this Japanese guy looked like Japanese George Clooney. It was really cool. Really? I was, like, I was like, holy shit, this guy's hot. He I looked, think I know who you're talking about you actually. Know what yeah, he's kind of, he looks kind of Western. He right? looks Western, but he's, but I, I looked it up and he's like hundred percent Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he okay. looks like George Clooney if he was Japanese. I, I have no I, idea I think I know who you're about. talking about. I, I like, don't know his name, but. And he was just like a no nonsense attitude guy. He's like, I'm coming to get the information and just like beat this guy up. But with, <laughs> But with just terrible lighting and cinematography. Right, <laughs> so, right. But it was like really, I, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I was just fascinated by him. I was like, that man's so goddamn hot. Good for him. I wish I was that Because hot. I've always, because I've had like the movie experience of, wow, this movie has fucking fantastic cinematography. Yeah. Unfortunately, the rest of the movie is shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, what yeah. was that? Wow, what was that movie? It was, uh, it was the something still water or something where it's like, 
Um, it, no, no. <laughs> it was originally supposed to be the Bioshock movie, but then they like changed it halfway through. What? What? They were. Uh, I cool. do not know. I have no oh, idea. Oh, Man, oh, then, do you well, want to? Yeah, let me look it up. I'm yeah. not, I know exactly what it is, but like the movie had like the most like amazing fucking cinematography. It looked fucking incredible. Like it was stylized yeah. perfectly. Really creepy cinematography. Look it up. Look yeah, it up. look it up. Um, yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I remember a cure for wellness. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, there was, there was a oh, movie. Oh, that's a horror movie, isn't Yeah, it? the horror movie, yeah, yeah, yeah Cure yeah. for Wellness. That was apparently, that was originally supposed to be the Bioshock movie. And you can tell- it was nothing like Bioshock. Yeah, no, obviously they like completely changed the story once <laughs> that, <laughs> that- That threw me off when yeah. you said it's meant to be the Bioshock yeah. movie. And his- Supposedly he, it was supposed <laughs> to be the Bioshock movie, but then something happened legality wise and they were like, all right, time to rewrite the story completely. But like, when you just look at the cinematography and like the sets and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, I can kind of see what they were going for. Like this looks cool. It's very stylized. Cinematography mm -hmm. is great. Unfortunately, the story was like, what? Like what the fuck is happening? Nothing makes <laughs> sense. Characters were all shit. So like, that's when I got to the point I was like, would I have preferred this movie if it had shit cinematography, but a good story? versus great cinematography, but a shit story. And this is like the animation versus story debate that yeah, anime right? fans go through, right? Like, which do you prefer? I mean, I, if you had to choose. Story, story. story but like, right? it has to be well acted, you know? You, right, you, you right, can't right. sell me on a bad story with not with actors who don't sell the moment for you, oh, right? No, the room's pretty good. The room, <laughs> the room's pretty good. I mean, that's a masterpiece yeah, that, in it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a unique exception. But that's got brilliant acting. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a top grade actor he is, Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, cause like, I, I feel like, I guess watching a lot of J dramas reminds me of like the old Thai soap operas I would see my mom watching and I'm mm. just like, what the fuck is this mom? <laughs> like, what the hell are you watching? I, I feel that's like, like that's- The, the I, Indian shows as well, yeah, I right? Feel like that's just, I feel like that's just a genre of itself where yeah. <laughs> you, you got like the campiest, most melodrama shit going on. Yeah. And you don't know what's going on. You see out of context clips. I think I think even some Korean dramas do this as well. It's just not as well known. Like I've, I remember seeing one clip where it was a Korean drama and- The one where he's falling down the stairs. <laughs> no, no, that's the Bollywood one, right? That's, Is that, I think yeah, that's, that's the Bollywood the, that's one. That's the Indian one, the, yeah. the, the, the one I was thinking of where this, this woman, this guy says something and this woman takes this entire like fucking cabbage of kimchi and just slaps this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like, I just want to know the context of this. That's so Cause good. Cause that context, it just makes no sense. As we just is. have to remind our audience that this is a Korean production. And it was Bring out the kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't didn't like uh, didn't PewDiePie react to like a, a Bollywood clip and then there was like drama or something about it like they like was it I swear there was drama I don't know if man if I'm remembering this incorrectly but like he there was like a clip that he reacted to and it was because there was like a reaction image where she was like <gasps> and then it was like twenty shots of it going. Poof like zooming in. Yeah, yeah, it's the woman falling off like the balustrade, right? Is that oh, what it I've is? Oh, I've seen that and one. The, and yeah. the guy's like slow motion trying to catch him, <laughs> yeah. but like, it's like going back and forth. And it's like, <laughs> this woman's <laughs> been in the air for five minutes. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a second floor. This, Why this, is this the woman's like literally fucking air bending right in front of my eyes. <laughs> like zero and every, everyone's just like watching it in slow motion. It's fucking hilarious. I, I love that. I swear, so I swear she got into some spat or something because of it. You keep talking. I yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I, that's what I, I would love to react to Indian like soap operas out of context. Yeah. I feel like there's every other soap opera and then there's just Indian soap opera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They wow. take campiness to the next level <laughs> and it's so amazing. Have, you ever, what, have you ever seen like many Bollywood movies? There was a period in my life where I tried to get into Bollywood movies, but the okay. problem is, is that there are so many fucking films in the Bollywood like scene. Yeah, I didn't realize how many movies they made. But like, it's like, they make like fucking like five, 10 times as much as like Hollywood. Right? Yeah, like something it's, like it's that. Insane it's insane. Amount of insane. So I'm just yeah. like, I legitimately was like, where the fuck do I even begin? Mm. Cause like, I don't know anybody else who like has stepped into that territory either. Yeah. So like my only other option was to like go on the internet be like best Hollywood, <laughs> Bollywood movies, right? Top 10 Bollywood films Top of all time. Top 10 Bollywood films Thank of all time. Thank you Watch Mojo. Yeah. Here's my watch list right now. But then <laughs> every fucking like top 10, top 50 list I saw, was just like all completely, <laughs> completely there different. wasn't a single like entry where it was like, oh, I saw that on this page. Yeah. Like, it's all fucking different. So I'm like, what do I just have to like Number bite one. the, do, yeah. Do I Slum literally just have, <laughs> do I literally just have to like, <laughs> 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 that's a great movie though. Well, yeah, it's great, not Bollywood. Movie, but it's not like, Bollywood. I remember when that came out, people were like, yeah, I like Bollywood. I like, yeah. I like, I like Slumdog, Slumdog Millionaire. Millionaire. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, movie. so I'm like, do I just have to like bite the ball and just like pick a random one and yeah. just like hope that it's a good movie? 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I think. Please only- let us know in the comments. What's let, a good Bollywood know. film? The only the only one I can remember that I watched that I think is really good um, is a film called Three Idiots. Mm. And the only reason I watched it was because it was on the IMDb top 100 at the time. Right, I was right, like, right. what is this? And it's it's a concept. I, f- I feel like that was made for Indians, right? Because right. it's a con. It's a film. Get this about engineers. <laughs> 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 and I think I think it was like actual. I can't remember if they were mechanical engineers or electrical engineers. Right. It doesn't matter. They were engineers. I can't. Yeah. Like, it was just so weird seeing this engineering movie, and then out of nowhere, they just break out into song and dance. <laughs> and I just like, just, like I, kind of, there's nothing I hate more than fucking musicals. I cannot stand. You don't like musicals? I hate musicals. I, I actually agree. Really? Yeah. It's like if I want a musical, I'll fucking pause the movie and go on Spotify and play Daft Punk <laughs> for four minutes and I'll put I don't get in the way, man. I, I hate I hate musicals so goddamn much. I cannot I I would rather do anything else. Except I'm watch like musical. I'm very hit or miss with musicals. Like a lot of musicals I'm just like fucking whatever. But then mm-hmm. if you like like I could ro- watch like Rocky Horror like thirty times. I feel like mus I feel like to me musical works well on like when it's a stage, you know, when it's, when, oh, it's, yeah, when, when, you, when you're watching it live, yeah. it's a really, yeah, really live, amazing live. experience. Like I remember watching Les Miserables. Yeah. I, I'm sure I fucking butchered Les that Les Miserables. Now. Les Miserables. Yeah. Um, I remember watching that uh, in England at the, at the West End. Fucking amazing experience. Yeah. Um, and then I remember watching the movie and I'm just like, this is really boring. I, I don't know. I, I watched it for the first time because like like pretty recently yeah. just because Aki was like, oh, you have to watch it. It's like, no, you don't. No, you don't it's, it's great. It. Like, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I always give musicals a go. So it's whatever. Yeah. This this might be the rare time where like Rocky Horror, where it's like, oh, I might fucking fall in love with it. I'm just like, God damn, they, they haven't stopped singing for like two it, hours. It just yeah. feels like a fucking quick time event. Like when you're in a musical, <laughs> it's like, oh, I guess I'll press X. Fuck, I'll press X. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels like it doesn't fucking end. It's like unskippable cutscenes and shit. It's like, get this shit out of here. Well, what I like about like Rocky Horror, for instance, right? Is that like one, it's fucking weird. Two, it's fucking Tim Curry in like leggings, which is just like amazing, just conceptually. Yeah. But like what I like about Rocky Horror compared to like, say like Les, Les Miserables is like, Les Miserables is just like 90% singing and then 10% dialogue. Whereas Rocky Horror is like 50-50. Mm. So it's like, mm. you get the enjoyment of like an actual movie like type of story. Yeah, but and when then it's, when every it's... now and then it goes into like song. But when I'm watching a musical, I'm just like, just get to the story. Yeah. Why, 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 why am I here? I don't care about the song and dance. Just get to the story. Give me the story. The only time I actually, I actually think I liked a musical was, um, I, I, what is it? It's, um, Cause a little, little Shop of Horrors, right? That has like a lot of music in it. The one with the big plant. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's musical, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like that because it made the thing fucking terrifying when it started singing. I was like, it sold me on the horror. Because when this <laughs> this giant plant puppet started singing, I was getting fucked as like a 15 year old kid. I was like, holy shit. It's like the kind of like jazzy style. Like, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, oh my yeah. God, yeah. it's terrifying. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever watch Bugsy Malone as a kid? But what? Bugsy what? Malone? Oh, for fuck. I know Bugsy the name. Yeah, I don't yeah. know yeah. anything about it though. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I can't remember because I only have vivid memories of watching it as a kid. All mm-hmm. I know it was like, it's like set in like, you know, in the prohibition era. Right. Uh, and it's about a bunch of people running speakeasies. But for some reason, everyone, every one of the gangsters mm. who are, you know, who are in this movie, every, everyone's played by kids, right? Oh. And when they have Tommy guns, instead of firing <laughs> bullets, they fire like a cream pie. So whenever someone gets hit by a cream pie in the face, they're dead. It's like thinking this back sounds- as a kid, it's the most like, this is the weirdest fever dream <laughs> I'm describing right now, but it exists, this, right? This sounds it sounds like-, like a David Lynch film. You know, it's like, it's like that weird. <laughs> it sounds like on the same level as this. What are those fucking dogs called? The movies where they're, they're like, they just dub over dogs. What? what? It's literally like Air Buddy or some shit. It's like a whole fucking series. Of oh, like, like Snow Dogs, like that it. level. Yeah. Right? Literally, it sounds like that, where they just fucking dub over dogs doing shit. I can't, what the fuck, dude? Oh my uh, God. But I've been trying to find someone else in my life who also has this vivid memory Why? of watching Bugsy Me Alone as a kid. Why? Cause I just want to reconfirm that I, that this was real. something you that made this up. this was real. <laughs> it really happened. I just need to know, okay? And I, so far, I've, I've you know, maybe it was just my, a my school thing. Maybe it was a my generation thing. I don't know, but I have not met a single other person, IRL, who remembers watching Bugsy Malone. So please, comment section, if there's someone in the comment section who knows and who has watched Bugsy Malone before, please, please tell me, because I need to know I'm not fucking crazy. I need to know this wasn't a, men- 
th I need to know this wasn't a fever dream. I need to know if this really happened. Wait, e everyone in the comments just be like, I have no idea. Was I have no idea you're talking I about. I don't have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> it was a musical, so. It's not even worth, it's a musical as well? No, yeah, no, that's no. why I remember it, it was I a musical. I sleep. Real question though. Did okay. you guys watch the Cats movie? <laughs> no, I didn't, no. I didn't. I saw why half of it. Why did you watch it? Cause I was just like, cause I, who doesn't look at that trailer and thinks, this looks like shit, I'ma watch it. You know when you, uh, you just see ads so often for something mm, that you've yeah. decided that you've decided you're going to dislike this thing before you yeah. even see anything. <laughs> that was me with cats because it was just everywhere and it was so obnoxious. And they do that thing where like, this has never been done before. Yeah. This is this has literally never been done before. Like they just say that about anything. Like we've never had this. We've never experienced this. We all felt amazing on the set. Well, it's the like, thing is with cats- I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is with cats is that I've seen it uh, on stage before. Yeah. And like, I actually thought not my favorite musical, but I was like, okay, out of all the musicals I've seen on stage, it's pretty all right, it's pretty decent. Like it's a good story, yeah. the songs are pretty all right. But then when you watch that trailer and you see the horrific things in that trailer, you're just like, well, I have you have piqued my interest now. <laughs> I, I would, yes, fucking green screen, like huge artists, like on these like fucking cat, like basically the, these huge actors being furries. I, yeah. I swear there was like, like really, yes, please. I swear there was like really funny, like cast interviews. Where, really? Like, where like the cast were like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> What do you want me to say? <laughs> I love it when actors like give interviews and they just yeah. fucking shit on what they're in. All yeah. I hope That's is like, that- There's something really yeah. cathartic about it. And like, they're like, yeah, it sucks. Like the fucking Robert Pattinson one, right? Yeah, the Robert Pattinson one is like, I can't fucking- the Twilight. I can't fucking stand Twilight. <laughs> like Robert Pattinson, please. Have we spoke about this before on the podcast? We did this I in private, remember. right? Yeah, I, I think we talked about it in private. Where like it's Robert so Pattinson funny. hated being in Twilight and his interviews about it are so fucking funny. Yeah. And please as well go and uh, like Daniel Craig. Daniel oh, Craig, yeah. In, yeah. in James Bond. Did we, did we talk about this? I, can't, I, I don't even remember. Li literally can't remember if we talked about no? this apologies, on the podcast. Apologies if we said it already. Sorry, I we must, we must have spoke about it on set. I think mm, I because can't like remember. Daniel Craig hates being in 007 and James Bond. Yeah. And the interviews that he gave were so fucking funny. Well, he did, he said, he did like a quote where he said like, I'd rather cut myself than do another Bond film. <laughs> and then he did another Bond <laughs> film. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's just like- <laughs> It's so tragic. It's like, imagine getting hired back again by the yeah. people you're just shitting on. Yeah. Like, I would rather die than work for you again. And they're like, right, let's so, get him back. Yeah, on. Yeah, let's yeah. get this guy back. It, it, like, how how out of options must they be to have to like bring Daniel Craig back here? They must have thrown so much money at I, that point. I remember, no, because I'm pretty sure he must have signed a contract before. Otherwise, is this like really? The, yeah, because you know, once if if you break contract, I'm pretty sure that you're just like blacklisted from Hollywood, right? Because that's right. why no one's like no one really breaks contracts. Either that, or they must have given Daniel Craig a fat fucking paycheck. I'm sure they gave him a lot of money. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure they just gave him a lot of money. Didn't they have to do something? Cause he like in the, which which movie was it? Was it, uh, what was the most recent film? Uh, there was one, the scene? one after Skyfall, right? Yeah, the one after Skyfall. That was one after Skyfall? Yeah. God, I'm so behind on my Bond movies. Well, there was, there was one where in the casino, it was a casino scene. It's not casino where he, he like- <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> where, where I they, know that one. Type Spectre, in, Spectre. Ty, Spectre. Yeah, type in Daniel Craig gloves. There was a thing where they had to like CGI, I think gloves on or off of him because he just left them on because he liked them or something. What? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he bought he bought gloves yeah. before like filming, and he really I mean, wanted it, yeah. he really wanted to wear them, and so they had to like CGI the gloves <laughs> off of him because he wanted to wear them. Is that right? Can you Google it? It was something like that where he was so fucking done with the shit that he impulse bought gloves and was like, I'm wearing them on the film. I don't give a fuck. And then they just CGI them off of him. CGI artists are like cracking their necks being like, all right, man. I, I couldn't do that just out of a, a, a feeling horrible to the people who have to work on that CGI. But oh my, you gotta respect the level of, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. That's just, that's just a new level of just, yeah, just, you don't <laughs> give a fuck. You just That's fucking- That's the most passive aggressive way of being like, don't call me back, please. Yeah, you're literally on you. like a half a billion dollar movie and you just don't give a fuck about wearing your like 20, $200 gloves. <laughs> you're like, ah, who cares? <laughs> Like, it's just, it's just the, the, the it's also just like the choice of gloves as well, of all things you could have put on. It's just like the biggest fuck you, right? It's just, I don't know what That's about it. It's fucking hilarious. 
It's just so cathartic to just hear this. I don't yeah. know why. It's so funny just hearing individuals be like, fuck you, big movie corporation. I'm going to do what I want. And then they just roll with it. They're like, I, I guess we'll fix it in yeah. post. Yeah. I guess we can't get him to take his gloves off, yeah, you right. know? Skyfall. Yeah, Skyfall. Skyfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and he's in the new one as well. And I think the new one is supposedly his last one. Yeah. But it got delayed because of COVID. So I'm pretty sure that's what they said about Skyfall as well. Yeah. They yeah. said that about the last like three films. Yeah. But they don't know who's going to replace him. So well, that's like, so weird, right? Because I remember a time like, you know, in like the late 90s, early 2000s, where like I feel, I feel every James Bond movie, there was a different James Bond. No, they did like two or three, I think, each at least. But I feel like they were like replacing them like quicker than Daniel Craig, right? No, I mean, it, Pierce, many, Pierce many, Brosnan did a lot. Pierce Brosnan, Pierce did, like Brosnan did a lot. Five, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, but I, he probably also enjoyed it. I'm like Daniel Craig. Maybe he did. Uh, I, maybe. Maybe. I, I think he got his paycheck and he yeeted out. I yeah, think he, yeah, I think yeah, he got yeah, what he got. Yeah. Well, is Daniel, what, is, what else has Daniel Craig done apart from James Bond recently? He's done a few pretty good films. Not, I can't remember any off the top of my head. He did like, yeah. I, remember, I, I really liked him in like Layer Cake. Oh, Layer Cake. That was a really mm, British film. That's, Super that's a, I completely forgot about I that. I like him in everything else, but James Bond. <laughs> I think he's really good in everything but James Bond. Yeah, but I, I feel like in Layer Cake, he also just played Daniel Craig, right? Yeah. But he played it better. <laughs> he, did, he just kind of played James Bond in a different skin. You know, it was, it, 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 it kind of very felt James Bond. It was Daniel well, Craig playing James Bond well, playing Daniel Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like James Bond is just an outdated archetype. Like yeah, I, I feel like it is as well. You watch it nowadays and you're like, they've they've tried their best to kind of inject. Modernize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it still feels like when they're trying to put like the Playboy scenes in, you're like, this yeah. is kind of cringe yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. why, but just seeing a guy just go, yes, I'm going to fuck these two women. It's yeah. like, all right, okay, sure. Yeah, right, right. We get it, man. You, you get like, pussy, them on Tinder, so, like, so does everyone else, bro. Like, <laughs> you don't yeah. have to brag like, about it. I don't know, it. It, just felt, if, it just felt very like, nowadays it just feels like, oh, this feels kind of lame. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very stated archetype. Like I can't imagine anyone like imagine if I'm just like, my name's Manny Tapper. You aren't Manny Tapper. And I mean, that's you, that's you, like, that's you with the? that outfit with the, uh, <laughs> with the bolt and the glasses, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing the turtleneck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I really enjoyed uh, Kingsman, name's right? Job. Big, yeah. Steve Handjob. <laughs> Steve Handjob. <laughs> well, Kingsman was good until the second movie. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. why I really liked the first movie because it completely just like almost made fun of that. Like, it was really good. Right? I really liked it. And then, and then it became the archetype. And then it became the archetype. <laughs> yeah, then, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, that was, how uh, the fuck did we get on about James Bond films? I don't fucking. We're talking about musicals. Oh, have you ever? Seen, I was thinking really about musicals. Tangent, I was thinking about musicals I actually liked. The only ones I probably actually like were um, the South Park movie. And yeah, that's really good. Oh yeah, that is a uh, musical, you, isn't it? Did yeah. you guys ever see the Book of Mormon live? I've, it's literally been the one, the musical that I've always wanted to watch. Dude, that's I've a, heard it's a it. fucking amazing musical. Yeah. And the reason I like those musicals is the music is funny and it yeah. plays off on joke and it doesn't, mm. it, like I don't care about the Me story. No I don't, I don't, I don't care. Laugh. I don't care about the story of South Parks. I, I'm there for the jokes and that yeah, helps yeah, add course. on to the jokes. And that's why it's, it's the only musical I can get behind. Mm. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really that much of a Broadway or West End guy, so I've only seen the really movie. Gone? You really gone? I thought you no, were, mate. No, no. <laughs> you seem like a Broadway really kind of gentleman. I can't stop I, you from singing. Do I, do I seem like a theater kid to you? <laughs> mm. Have you ever been tempted to go watch like the, the anime like musicals? Have you seen any of them? Tempted? Or the, no. the, 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 they restarted the Death Note one, right? Yeah. You, the, how, do, how, how does that work? How, how I've been work? so tempted to go and watch it just to say, I went to go see a Death Note musical or like the Prince of Tennis musical. You know, I really want to go. You know, you know, in the book. <laughs> that, 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 that idea wasn't in my head, but now it is in my head. Yeah, I really fucking want, I've been trying to find people to come with me to go watch like any of the anime musicals just because there's Dude, something, there's something like defeatist about being like, yeah, so uh, I went to go watch a Death Note musical by myself the other day, you know, just like as you do on a Sunday. <laughs> Dude, I'd fucking do it. Yeah, please. Fuck that! I, I'll go. I'll go by myself to watch the Death Note musical. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, had the, they had the My Hero Academia musical, didn't they? As well. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. I just, I'm, I'm. That idea wasn't in my head, but now I'm just genuinely curious. What? Well, how does that work? How, how yeah. do you? How would you adapt? How do you adapt Death Note to a musical? <laughs> oh, you know? Like eating apples. <laughs> <laughs> die! 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 <laughs> I, oh I, 
I feel like it'd have to be, I want it to be in the style of like a Willy Wonka. Ask like original, you know, like the yeah. Umpa Lumpa. Just have Ryuk be like an Umpa Lumpa. Just have that kind of singer song. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I would like just that. all the Shinigamis. <laughs> just like. I mean, I, I, I'd like to think that the costume for Ryuk is extremely poor as well. Yeah, it's just the shittest costume. <laughs> Today. It's literally a guy in like a few black. Just a guy fabrics. like a gimp costume. Just being yeah, like, the, yeah, a gimp Hi, costume with like, like he's just been like tarred and feathered, and he's just kind of like overweight, and he's like, no, no, no. it's like smoker's voice as well. He's like. <laughs> an apple and a cigarette. Or it's just fucking William Defoe without any makeup on. It's just like it's just William Defoe. William Defoe just comes out as like it is me, Ryu. I'd buy it. I'd buy it. He's very good actor. Yeah, he could do it. He's great. If anyone, if anyone could just stand there and make me accept it, it's probably William Defoe. Yeah, yeah, of course. God, I'm I'm just remembering the Death Note live action movie now. He was the best part of the movie. He was the best part of the movie. We spoke about four though. He said four lines, and that was it. Unfortunately. <laughs> but he was good. He was good in those four lines. How do we get onto this? How do, how do we tangent so hard? I don't know. I don't know. We, we're good at that. So, gentlemen, moving on though, this mm. is now our last few moments in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is so this this is the last episode of season one. I guess. I guess it right. is. If if is we that are. What doing, we're call I, it? I, I, I don't. I don't know if we're doing like season one via studios or via the year. Um. I mean, either way, this is the end, right? Because I, I think I, we're like right on. As we're recording, this is like one year anniversary. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think know. So something like that. Sorry, so fifty three, right? Yeah, something like yeah. that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fifty three well, or fifty three. Close 54. enough. Oh, there's yeah. fifty two weeks in a year, and uh, <laughs> and, and the one over here. So, yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, it felt lot longer than a year, to be honest. I don't remember the studio being this full. You know, I don't remember. I don't remember what it looked like before. It's scary going back to like episode one. Yeah. And being like, <coughs> it doesn't look like the same room. At I'll, all. I'll tell you yeah, what. After, after, you, after you mentioned it on the Trash Taste Awards, uh, I remember looking at the first episode again as well, and I forgot yeah. that we originally had our camera all the way back there. That's yeah. right at the back. Yeah. So it kind of looked like you were peeking through, like uh, like you know, <laughs> you're peeking through, being like, oh, what what are they getting onto? And now it just feels like way too close. Hello, this is the new camera angle that we changed to. You know. What, like thirty episodes ago? <laughs> yeah, it just it just feels it just feels weird. I, f I forgot that we changed camera angles and the different feeling that it gave off. Mm. Um, and yeah, f like I'm impressed how many guests we got this year as well. Yeah, that's I mean, uh, yeah. G given the limited circumstances of all Japan. nine of them, <laughs> <laughs> except for Chris. Fuck yeah, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, I'm sure Chris will be on again. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm no sure. man, I'm sure Chris is gonna come knocking is, on the is, door. Is he gonna be the first guest on in season two as <laughs> he well? Said, he said he wants to be. So <laughs> uh, just I, asserting dominance to every other I guest. Don't, I don't see why not. Well, I Dan mean, asked, what else is there to talk about with Chris? What do you mean? Just have Chris on. It's <laughs> insanity and shoes. Chris, yeah. Chris just makes funny moments by yeah, being on. We just bully Chris. Chris bullies ours. You know, it's a good. I'm looking good forward to what drip he's gonna be wearing next after <laughs> after winning laziest drip in season in season <laughs> one. <laughs> he's, you know, like after that episode goes off, he's gonna be like, oh, oh, I, told, no, I gotta I, come with like I, a suit. I told Chris, I was like, you won an award, by the way. He's like, you won two awards. No, yeah. no, no, no. He said, I was like, oh yeah, you, you won an award. He's already, oh, really. really. He's like, I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, like, just one. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, fuck off, Chris. I'm like, fuck off. I'm like, <laughs> I well, like, well, lucky for you, Chris. <laughs> I didn't tell him about the second one, so oh, I'd really? be surprised when he sees Yeah, yeah. So, brilliant, uh, brilliant. He won't, he won't find that out. Yeah, he won't find out until that's all. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's yeah, but I guess, uh, yeah, I guess by the time you see us next week, we'll be in a, hopefully, brand new setup. Well, yeah, it'll be like a month for us, but it'll be like yeah. one week for you guys. It'll be yeah. next week for you guys. Yeah. yeah. So, so we want to remodel and, uh, Change the setup a little bit, mm -hmm. get the get the angles different. Yeah. We're not going to have like a completely different setup right off the bat. I think it's it's going to be similar to season one where we kind of grow our set as the season goes on. You know, mm. I, I feel I I like well, that. Well, you haven't decided everything yet, but we have no idea what the new set's going to look like. I want to no. get all new figures. That's what I want. That get rid of that this. involves having another Akihabara special, which is going to be pretty hard. Right now, considering yeah, true, yeah, everything right. is under but in lockdown, future, in future, so maybe future. you'll have to wait a little bit longer compared to season one to get a new Akihabara special. Yep. Um, but we do want to do one in the future. Mm. Um, apart from that, I don't know what other plans. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to show you guys, like 
a, the new set that we yeah. have and having yeah. a proper trash taste office, not just an apartment that we just remodeled <laughs> into a set. Yeah. I mean, you'll got, you guys will see it in the After Dark vlog. I mean, like speaking of like, there'll be way more After Dark content as well. Yeah, we're doing, we go, we're gonna have two sets now. So the After Dark specials aren't just going to be trash taste 1.5. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's the main, I think that's one of the big reasons why we want to move is mm. just to allow us to make more, 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 content. Yeah, more space more content. and more content. Because yeah. right now it's, you know, I mean, you can make content in this room. I'm, I'm sure we could, but mm. it's one of those things where- But at what cost? Well, yeah, when you're in a room that you just despise, because <laughs> yeah. it's too cramped, yeah. you don't want to make like stuff. You, you don't feel creative. You don't no. feel like you want to yeah. do anything. Like you guys will see when we vlog it, but like behind the set is an absolute mess. And actually, I mean, the set is a mess. Yeah, well. the entire yeah. room is, the entire place is a mess. <laughs> Everything the, that isn't the beauty on camera. of camera angles is yeah. everything looks bigger, but this is, it is not as neat as yeah. you think it is. In fact, like I get, actually like physically embarrassed whenever a guest comes oh, over. Oh yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because the one thing, the, the one mutual thing that every guest says is, wow, this place is a lot smaller than it looks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we know, we know. It, it's, it's, it's like, you know, when your mom comes in and your room isn't tidy, that's what I feel like, you know? Yeah, the yeah. first thing I feel like saying is apologizing. <laughs> and then the second thing is like, whoever has to explain to the guest that they're gonna be sitting here. Mm. And the first thing you have to explain to them is how to get here. And yeah. you're just like, oh, you just gotta go around the set, I think. Like you <laughs> cannot see any of the desk. And we have three desks over there mm. yeah. at the wall. You can't see any yeah. of the desk. My desk yeah. is a fucking war zone that Maylene's turned into. Which which, which was the guest that was thought you had to go under again? Who, who was that? Reyna. Oh yeah, Reyna. Yeah, I think it was Reyna. Ray, Ray, there was so little space. Reyna literally thought that you had to go under the table. Oh, they managed there's probably more room under the table. Probably, yeah, honestly, probably. I, 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 I can't blame- There's I less can't, of a tripping hazard under here. I can't I fault her for thinking that, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like everything, every, the way we've done it is all, it works, but it, it's literally the meme of like the Cheeto holding the door locked. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. I mean? Like it, it, everything works, but it's not clean. It it's can be better. About, like it looks good. I'm happy with how it looks. Considering what we've done, it's the most scuffed way we can of it looking as good as it does and yeah. sounding yeah, as good yeah. as it does. But yeah, we want to. We really want to upgrade it, and I don't know. Get get a better system in general, just for everything. Have more guests mm. on. You know, have yeah. guests on After Dark. You know, just have it everything upgraded, have everything yeah. better. You know, and, uh, and just, you know, it's because of you guys that we're even able to fucking move to a. You know, yeah, nice yeah, the, yeah, place, yeah. Right? Without like, the Patreon stuff, we definitely wouldn't be able to consider the upgrades that we're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. Basically, when we started this podcast, we we were just like, what's the minimum we can get away with in case this podcast is like zero just crashes and burns. just crashes and burns immediately? Right? Yeah. So we planned this on like as much of a budget, as much money as we were willing to put in, mm, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Like, how, how much money do we want to lose? And then also hours do we want to lose? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but like, yeah, I mean, we're, we're again, like we said this in the previous episode with the, the Trash Taste Awards, obviously, but like, we're very we're very grateful, I think, mm, for the, yeah. the crazy amount of support. I think if you'd have told us that we'd be this close to a million subs after one year, I think we'd have been like, <laughs> yeah. Lamau, funny. Yeah. Good I'd yeah. be like, a good joke. 100,000 subs, be that's a success. <laughs> because we only, we only pushed this channel like once. what, twice on our, on our main channels? Yeah. Once in a, at the end of a, a start of a video or an end of a video and then the Aki Habit And then special. the Aki Habit special, yeah. Considering yeah. it's everything else is driven by like Twitter and you guys just enjoying the show. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. you guys spreading the good word. It's uh, it's crazy, man. It's mm. crazy to see. Yeah. And Cause, like, Cause normally with a lot of podcasts I see you have like with big names in them, you have like the big announcements. So you got the big trickle of views yeah, and, and then the down. view, the view just like drips down, which is what I was expecting. And I wasn't expecting us to maintain like the view count and yeah, the for 50 that episodes. That it's also, for 50 it's also episodes. intimidating. Cause now I know that the stuff I, the dumb shit I say will be in front of more people than ever. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I, the one, one, thing <laughs> I, one thing I certainly was surprised by was just, like just realizing that some of the shit we say to each other, people like hundreds of thousands of people are now listening to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I, I forget about everything I fucking say. Like I, same I, here. all the dumb shit. Like I got emailed today about baked beans. But <laughs> wanting to send me baked beans. I totally forgot I said I like baked beans. Mm -hmm. and, I, and someone's offering to send me a ton of baked beans. And I'm like, I'm flattered. Well, you can't say no to that. I, I just can't remember. What, why I said this, I, I've totally forgot. This is one Out of the context, it just sounds like a random person wanting it's, to send you is. baked beans. I know I went on the rant about <laughs> loving baked beans, but that was one of those things where I'm very passionate at the moment. And then yeah. when I when I leave, I totally forget that I had a rant about <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I did, I did talk very passionately about <laughs> baked beans. That is me. I, I did mean, do I, that. I feel that's a lot of moments, right? I mean, it's, sometimes you just get passionate when you're talking with your mates yeah. or when you're in like a fucking yeah. Izakaya. Uh, or having like an argument yeah. where it's not really an argument <laughs> and you're just, you're just very passionate in do the you, moment. Do you reckon we'll get any comments? People are like, man, I like the old set more. 
It's a better vibe to it. <laughs> well, the table's gonna be the same. I stopped watching after yeah. season one. <laughs> <laughs> season one is when it went downhill. Yeah, yeah. Man. Season two is a real let. Yeah. Well, I mean, essentially, it's not too much is gonna change, really. Not Just too the, much. The, the, the so, really, okay, to 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 to, yeah. to 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 like bring down expectations. Really, the reason we want to change um, change offices is because this is not a convenient office at all. Mm. Um, on camera, we don't want too much to change. Uh, we just want to work more comfortably yeah. <laughs> instead of having this like the most jank fucking setup for everything we do. I mean, right now, Trash Taste After Dark is running off of my laptop. Okay. <laughs> There's like my three giant ass HDMI's going into this man's laptop. Yeah, the yeah, cable the management laptop. is atrocious. Literally, literally it's like, it's a laptop that's sitting, um, that's like a hooked chair. up on a, on like on a foldable chair. <laughs> That's like that's like connected with wired internet that's just running in the middle of the floor. That's that's it. That's that's yep. trash taste after It is dark. jank as fuck. And that's because we can't afford more space right yeah. now. So <laughs> that, that is, it's like yeah. the most jank. It's mostly setup. for us. <laughs> en enough of us complaining about <laughs> all yeah. our problems, I guess. Uh, everything should hopefully be better. We don't know because yeah. we haven't moved yet, yeah. but we're hoping that everything hopefully. goes really Hope so. smoothly. Hope so. Off Offset, I want to shout out to the Denny's guy. You the real G. <laughs> The Danny's guy is always there for us. So, He's always so very nice. We've, we've talked before about- Boss man's always waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, we've talked before about how every every, every time before a Trash Taste recording, we have lunch at Denny's and we've gone there so often that there's a guy at Denny's who knows the exact time we're coming in on the exact day. And he he, he knows he knows what we want. We ordered the same thing every time. He knows how many people as well. Yeah. Like, if, I've, not, I've not met a boss man in Japan. You, and yeah, you know, I, I hadn't met a boss man in Japan until I met that guy. You a boss man? <laughs> <laughs> He's real boss man. He's a. I love. I love man. it because like sometimes we would come into the Denny's. Yeah. And he would just the moment he sees us, he's like. Ayo, okay. It's like four, right? Yeah. I got you, I got you. We got a reserve for you, don't worry. You're gonna miss the MILF bar that's also yeah, like yeah. next door as well. Yeah. So we, we just we discovered we discovered a bar. It's, it's a it's, restaurant, just it's just it's, ran it's, by it's just, yeah. it's just a woman. Yeah, it's just a uh, woman. It's just a restaurant that's just run by attractive older Japanese women. single MILFs in your right? area. And I remember, I remember Connor first going into there, and uh, it's kind of like, and he had an awakening. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I like, like <gasps> the problem. It's kind of like because it's a new we bar. Come back here, and then we almost we came back almost every week for a while. <laughs> the land of milk and honey <laughs> <laughs> is right around the corner. <laughs> what a beautiful bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss this area as well. Like, it, like you know, I didn't have much expectations for this area. Obviously, we're not yeah, gonna because say because we're, we're in a quiet area. Yeah, but like you know, we've come to Sometime. after a year, we've come to <laughs> you know, pr appreciate the small things. You know, oh, yeah. we, we, we can say we're in Saitama, all right? It's whatever. Sure, we can say we're in Saitama yeah, now. Yeah, sure. Okay, Cut it, just, I guess just, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, kind of, I mean, I don't think it matters now. We're not. Yeah. We're not gonna. We're be not there anymore. Yeah, yeah, we're, good, we guys are good. we're, we're not good, there we're... anymore. So we we were in Saitama, but not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Commuting was a pain in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> again, everything was on a budget. Saitama is outside of Tokyo. It's like an yeah. hour. It's like an hour away from Tokyo. It's immediately cheaper. It's just just close enough yeah. that it kind of feels like it's in Tokyo. Yeah, it's kind of like being in Zone Four, Zone Five in London, right? Yeah, it's like telling your you know in London be like, yeah. So the studio is at uh, Heathrow Airport. Just uh, just oh, it from... wasn't it wasn't that far. It wasn't that well, far. Well, uh, Heathrow Airport is like an hour hour from central London. Yeah, but Tokyo is a lot bigger as well, yeah, though, true, isn't true, it? True, true, true. I yeah. mean, you can go from one end of Tokyo to your, to your, another in an hour yeah. as well. So I, I understand these references. <laughs> <laughs> London yes. boys, Heathrow, yes. <laughs> Downtown Manhattan, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was going to say. Going to Pennsylvania <laughs> from New York. <laughs> uh, I guess thank you for watching. Thank you for watching season one. Yeah, wow. I don't really have much else to say, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys stick with us all through season two. Look forward to more fun, epic I mean, There content. probably won't be a season three because I don't think we plan on uh, upgrading from the new studio. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be season two for a while. <laughs> <laughs> season one is the test run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season two is the, the one that has like 500 episodes. Yeah. Season don't, one don't, was- Okay, don't, don't think there's gonna be many new plot developments. This yeah, is, this is literally yeah. it. This is like- <laughs> I, I, Season one was like the 54 episode pilot. <laughs> <laughs> season two is where the actual show begins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the new studio. Yeah. It's just but like Arthur. Does Arthur have seasons? I don't know if Arthur has seasons. Arthur. What do you mean what Arthur is? Don't oh, you mean the- The kid show. Ca the cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Does that have yeah. seasons? Does Arthur have seasons? I feel like it's just running. <laughs> I don't know. I feel we're like we're gonna like... be like Arthur. We're just never gonna stop airing. <laughs>
We're just I've gonna every single week. I've never heard of anyone being like, oh, season 23 of Arthur was my favorite. <laughs> I don't know, does Arthur have seasons? Can you Google it? Arthur doesn't have seasons. It just runs, it just keeps going. It just I'd, runs. I'd say it's more like come dine with me, right? I don't, well, I, we're just gonna keep coming and coming every week. We come every week, guys. Trash Taste comes every week, come. guys. Come. <laughs> Now. <laughs> That's just it, we'll see you guys next. We'll see you guys next. No, we got to shout out the patrons. We got to shout out the patrons. Look at these lovely look patrons. At the, look at these patrons who whom come without, every week. Whom without, we could not move into a new studio and exactly. have a better setup than, we're, than we do now off screen. Absolutely. You know? I don't have seasons. No, it doesn't, fuck off. It has seasons. Season 22. Season 22. <laughs> it's basically one season. No. <laughs> yeah, one long season 22. I don't even, I can't tell. But hey, if you like Arthur season 22, then make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash days. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our faces, uh, listen to us on Spotify. And also go <laughs> subscribe to After Dark. There's going to be a lot more content there, hopefully. 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 Starting very soon though. Yep. Bye, Actually, bye, 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 bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye old studio. Bye old studio. Oh. I mean, we're taking most of this with us. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm taking Rias with me. What, what were you going to say going for I rudely interrupted you? I have no idea. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> See you guys in the new studio. See you guys next time. That was like our slowest outro ever. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs>